morning, guys. Good morning. Let me get this post really quick. I think we're good. All righty. Get this out of here. All right, let's play some Medieval Dynasty, guys. Good morning, you, Eleanor. How's it going, man? And Destiny, I realize you came in a little bit early. How you guys doing today? Good afternoon, Jim. Hope you have a great day, too. It's a good 10.18 in the morning where I'm at right now, so I'm just chilling. My Sundays have become very relaxing ever since I started streaming. Just playing Medieval Dynasty like at a habitual time. Get all the boring stuff out of the way, like taxes, while I try and remember what I've been doing today, or what I'm going to do. Move on. Yeah, it is a good day today. It is a good day. So far. They did an update early this week for Medieval Dynasty. <clears throat> for Medieval Dynasty? I see a Medieval Cinema Contest. Valid wants to hear your movie pitch. What movie would be better if it was sent to the Medieval Era? Our favorite five ideas will win a Medieval Dynasty Steam copy. That's kind of cool. Maybe there's like a hot fix, but I, I see that little contest thing they're doing. There's your taxes, mirror god. Oh my gosh, it looks so crowded over here. This place has gotten huge. But if you missed last stream, I do recall... We officially built our mine. So we have a mine going in the village. Well, outside the village. I built my mine on the cave outside of Piastovia. Maybe I'll go, go get a look at it really quick. Can we throw Mirror God off the wall? I wish. I really wish, man. No, I'm really curious as to where they ex where the story is going to go for the Oxbow. 
if Mere God's gonna like turn on us or if Mere God's just gonna become good later. Or if we would just like take his spot. I feel like it'd be kind of cool if they made it so you could be the Castellan of one of the maps. So yeah, I got a house right here. I wanted to make like a little mining hamlet outpost type thing. We got the cave. We got three workers right now, so it's not completely filled out. But I think they have all of the tools they need. We're just gathering iron. We're pretty much almost at the point where we're not going to need to deal with bronze anymore. But while we like slowly get used to just pulling in all this iron, I think we're going to need to fill out our mind before we can completely go all iron. But we're almost there. We also unlocked a windmill, but I haven't built it yet. I'm definitely going to do that. Probably this season. But I also wanted to look for three mining villagers. I don't have room for them, but since I'm here. What are the stats like? Two threes. Not bad. All right, we got one extractor. One three. We could go for the one extractor. This lady's also pretty good because she has a three in hunting and farming. But of this group, I would probably just grab that one dude. Go check out the other villages. And I have this little hamlet right here. Oh, I never fixed this house. This house is still made out of wattle. All right, we got to do something about that. In fact, we need to fix this in general. I haven't gotten to the point where we've unlocked a builder yet. So I have to fix everything myself. move the stone over to the donkey and let's see what we can fix luckily it's only sticks actually we need some straw just enough We need bridges. How's it going, Metal Weeb? I would love bridges, honestly. But who knows when or if that's going to happen. I know Toplet said they have like a little something special planned for the update when they actually get co-op and Oxbow to the consoles. They said they're going to uh, add like something else. But I don't know what it's going to be. It would be nice if it was bridges, but I highly doubt that. How am I building so fast? I'm using fast crafting. So go to custom settings. Fast, fast building. Sorry, not fast crafting, fast building. For this game, the only settings I've changed. I've increased the length of seasons, but I usually keep it at three. I had it at six last stream. Because I wanted to do like a longer winter. But aside from that, all I've changed is fast crafting and fast building. Wait, you're telling me that was a thing? Yeah. I didn't find out about it until like 10 years into my first game. I was like, really? No, nah, it's it's. Those are the main two settings like I need to play with fast building, fast crafting. All right, the donkey's not gonna... We don't wanna go anyway, he's got my stone. You built an entire village without fast building. 50 buildings? Oh my God. You're a trooper. 
more. <laughs> well, now you know, right? <laughs> my first village I built was all without fast building. But when I moved my village, I found out about fast building. I love fast building, though. There's already a lot of things in the game that you spend a lot of time doing and taking the extra steps to, you know, hit the building eight times. I feel like it's something we could skip, you know. I need a roof over my head if you want me to stay. Hold your horses, lady. And make sure Yeah, you just need stone. I used all my logs. How old is the world? Uh, this one I'm on year nine right now. This isn't my longest playthrough, but I mean, if it keeps going at this rate, it'll easily pass up my last one. My original playthrough is at like year 24, something like that. Like I got the air and everything. Oh, an IRL? That's... What time period is this game? Like, 1100? I think 1000 to 1100 AD. Somewhere in the Baltic states, probably Poland. Somewhere around there. I think it... I'm pretty sure it's Poland. I built near Skowki. Yep, I built near Skowki. This is where we're at. I have two small little, like... I guess hamlets that are on both sides of Piastovia, one for mining and one for just like resources so I can trade easily. But most of my stuff is down here. Not probably it is Poland. That's what I thought. All right, let's move these guys back in. Actually, I don't have limestone, do I? Hey, Daydreamer, how's it going? You're legit changing all the layout type of houses and level on them? Oh, so you're just doing like a break it down, put a new one up type thing. That takes a lot of work. I made a video on that at one point. And it took me like seven years, eight years in game to like get it all sorted. <laughs> it was kind of ridiculous. I did take my time and like plan it though. Let's get rid of some of these things. They're kind of holding me down. Skowki literally means little rocks. Piestova means town of Piest. Piest being the first dynasty of Poland. I didn't know that. That's cool. There's my limestone. Let's see if I can move some of it over to the donkey. I'll just move it all. All right, you hold this for me. I'm gonna start building. Oh, I forgot the other two. The top parts of Waddle. When I start playing Medieval Dynasty, I started playing Medieval Dynasty. When did I start playing? It's a good question. A little bit. I bought the game in early access. So maybe like 2020, 2021. But I didn't really like get invested into it until like maybe last year. I'm 
unfortunately for these guys, I'm not done destroying their house. And maybe... I'll probably leave these houses. These two houses have thatch roofs. I probably have the stone for it, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. I think the insulation will be enough. Klonica means town of maples as Klon is maple in Polish. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> Throw just like some base decorations on. We don't really need anything too crazy. Do I have fur? I'm going to throw some fur. Get some rugs. The last stream we basically spent a lot of the time building and getting most of the houses like furniture and all that stuff because we really wanted to get the mine. Now that we unlocked the mine, we really don't need to get as much building done but i want the builder's hut still we're like still 2500 points away from that so we're gonna still have to do some building throw some rugs down and maybe maybe some lights i all have a great day henrik how's it going man how's it going Like four iron bars will be enough. We'll just give them some lights. Linen thread and leather. I just want some candlesticks. That should be 10 decorations, which is max in terms of mood. I fixed all the buildings. I think we're done in this area. I should go and visit viewers' villages. I want to do that, actually, but I need to, like, plan it and set it up. And if I want to coordinate that, I'm thinking I might need to make, like, a Discord or something. Though I might do something like that in the future. Next week, I kind of have a couple things planned. Let's head over, I guess, to actually, before we go to Skowki, let's check the quests. Hi, father, it's my day off. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. I'm ever thinking about changing to two day seasons. I was literally thinking about that last night. I think I've gotten to a point in the game where I really don't need three seasons. But I need to make sure my farms are all not going to like implode because of it. 10 iron sides. That's a lot of iron. That's a lot of money though. 8,000 coins. And 550 just for a single scythe. You know what? We're going to take them. Stew. I don't care. Beetroot seeds. Meh. It's a good idea having a discord yeah I've, I've wanted to make one i just don't really want to put in the work of moderating one you know i feel like that's going to be a lot of work on its own How are you? at the same time though i don't want it to be like barren and bare bones but i do think it would be cool to do like like go explore other people's villages or even like have people like Submit screenshots. Maybe do like a contest or something. Stop in here really quick. Beetroot Baron is a duty quest. I agree. 
There are not many medieval dynasty discords. Yeah, there's only like a handful, right? Siobora. Give me your pretzels. All right, maybe we should go back home and deal with all of this production stuff that's going on. It might be just a full resource storage. The cursed wagon is still floating. What's an extra 82 coins? Now I've considered doing like two day seasons. I'd consider doing like a, a one day season challenge where I just tried to play through the game where each day was just a new season. <whistles> like time would go by really, really fast. And I think that'd be like a fun challenge. It actually feel like the dynasty is like slowly but surely growing. Why do you have all this meat on you? Aww. One day season is a great challenge. Yeah, I might do it. Wow. I'm still trying to decide whether I want to keep going with this run after year 10. Because I feel like it'd be cool to at least change over to the air. One day season and sleep at night. Yeah. I still don't really like playing when it's like completely dark, unless it's like winter because it's brighter because everything's like white. All right, let's do some of this management stuff. I know I've been holding off on it. So resource storage isn't full, so they're they're doing good. Woodshed has no resources. Oh, was this a person? Oh, no, we're just out of logs. Why are we out of logs? 53 a day. Probably all this extra firewood we're trying to accumulate. All right, that will fix that. Just always remember there's no such thing as too much wood. Oh, yeah, I've learned. I learned that long, long ago. That's why I got basically three wood sheds right now. I'm not using one, though, but I want to break it down and change it to a wood shed, too, so I can have four extractors. Hunting Lodge is taking its sweet time. We lost a person in the cow shed. Another person had a baby, I'm sure. Workshop, what do you need? Wood bowls, also because of logs. So this is all a log problem. We have a log shortage. Do we have anybody that's back to work? We gotta have at least one, right? Oh, look at the four, five. Wait, 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 no. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That's huge. All right, let's look at these people. So I need one person that's gonna be an animal breeder. Let's go by age or status. Is that gonna show me? Now we're going to have to go by profession. So we got one that's a four in animal husbandry, another four, a five extractor. So I think Emrika. She might have been my original cow shed lady. Emrika will go into the cow shed. Hey, Sorbel, how's it going? 
playing Medieval Dynasty and watching the live. Awesome, awesome. Good to hear. We just had like three ladies come back to work, so I'm trying to figure out where to put them. We need one for the barn. Oh, I know what we can do. So some of these barn people or these farm shed guys. I want to keep six. So we're going to take Amelia or let's take Ludislav out. And Ludislav is going to go in here. Oh, I could just put Boyaslav in here. I will put her in there. All right, I take that back, Ludislav. You're going back in. But that still leaves an extractor, which can go into the mine. There's a level five extractor. And then we got one more person. Three farmer. Three survival. Is Frida... We'll have, let's just have her gather fish. I think that should solve most of the problems. It's going to take some time for the wood to come in and solve that stuff. But it's going to get there. Yeah, slowly going down. And then just my pile of traps over here. How do these animals fall for this? <laughs> now that I've kind of like built a lot of my skills up, I kind of need to do some hunting. I feel like I'll gain more skill points faster that way. So I'm definitely not hurting on food. And the more traps you get, the more time it's just going to take to pick up one trap. And it only gives you one like one point. Not that they're bad, but I could probably focus on hunting and level up faster. Had three woodsheds, two level two and one level one. The level one was your personal because you're not interrupted by your workers. Yeah, that's kind of why I've had this one here. Hi. That first woodshed, that woodshed one is like right next to my house. And it's like I can either, you know, use this woodshed or go all the way over there and use the other two woodsheds. So I kind of like having one in town. The stealth hunting skill is so useless. I'm not really a fan of the stealth skills in this game. They can work, but just not really my cup of tea. All right, where'd the donkey go? I know you got like 200 meat on you. Give me that meat. Taxes getting out of hand year nine. It's over 10K. Yeah, I think my taxes were around like 8,000, something like that. But I've been letting the money like pile in. So I got like almost 60,000. So I mean, it's really a drop in the bucket. Especially in the later years, you really want to make sure you got some market stalls going to make you some money. Let's see how these are doing. I got one market stall that's selling just like a host of different foods. I don't really want to sell the rest of this because these are usually made for something else. I have a lot of raw meat. This market stall selling iron knives. And these are going to be like 1300 coins each. 1200 coins each day. Selling bags. 
And I think these are joined hoes. Yep. So I'm making like, what, like four, a little bit more than 4,000 coins a day just from the market stalls as long as I keep them up. So I'm kind of just helping them get that stuff. Kind of fun when you sneak up on a lynx and bop it on the head. <laughs> I haven't tried that, but they... They can aggro really easily. How is my iron doing, to be honest? 65. I'm not going to take from them because... I have a smithy who is smelting for me now. I finally don't have to do everything for myself, but they're still a little slow, so I gotta, I still gotta do it for myself. How do I unlock the market stall so fast? Market stall is diplomacy? Oh, it's building. Um, I don't know, I just built. I was building, I was upgrading buildings. Making sure things are, like, repairing buildings. Upgrading buildings to, like, limestone and planks really helps get your building up really quickly. Because I just hit 5k. Because that's how I unlock the mine. I really want the builder set, though. I have all the animals. I got all the production. Oh, I could upgrade my food storage and my... I'm not at resource storage yet, but food storage would be cool. No fishing hut or blist hut. I got the new hunting lodge. And then the windmill, of course. We need that windmill. Hope not too late. Nah, we haven't been doing too much. Kind of just like... Trying to fix all the production stuff. We're still on the first day. A lot of my buildings are broken and I had to fix random resource stuff. But I'm going to fix my market stalls really quick. Have I tried running two mines? I have. Not in this game yet. I literally just built that mine and then kind of got off, I think. But I was talking about it. So I have this mine right here. I'm probably going to build a second mine at this west cave. So I'll have one a little close to home and then one just like directly next to Piastovia. Jump, jump, jump. I don't want to annoy people by all the honking. But I'm still going to jump. You're trying to avoid upgrading the houses. Too many kids. Your workforce is half mothers now. I think that's a great time to start uh, upgrading their houses. Because if one of them's not working, you can kind of just kick them out, fix it, and then put them back in the house. Because they get a little bit of a mood boost when they have a kid, so you'll have a little bit more time to do the conversion. I'm still going to do a little bit more fixing. I'm going to need more straw than that. To be fair, though, I don't think... Maybe just the... I'll just take it all. A couple buildings still have Waddle. But that's because they have to. Kind of like the... Uh, the Fold. Or the Cows. Maybe I should get some Daub. 
and insulate. Alright, they got a little bit of stuff. Any new animals to sell? Looks like it's just two horses. No, no babies. You can build a woodshed and destroy the wall and rebuild the wall and repeat for infinite building skill points. All right, there you have it. Works with everything, houses, walls, and fences. Yeah, you can also... That was what I was telling people about, like, the the sitting stumps. Like, it only cost one log to drop a sitting stump. And then you break them all down, you get half of them back. So there's a couple ways you can... cheese that building skill, you know? Though I feel like... I mean, it's taken me a while, right? Like, my building is my weakest skill. Or maybe my survival is my weakest skill. Building and survival, but still, like, even with just, like, progressively building and upgrading and insulating buildings. I mean, I did just get the mine. I mean, it took me ten years. Nine years. And then repairs add up. Fix the chicken coop. That duck hat brings more skill. Yep. Wear the duck hat, you get 100% more skill XP. Every time you jump, it increases 10%. I wish. Started playing the new arc and it's just not the same. I was watching Disaster play um, the new arc recently, actually, because like Scorched Earth came out. I think you were talking about that earlier, and I didn't really put two and two together. That game has changed. Like it's very much the same, but like UI interface, and I think the building is kind of more interesting. But I mean. It still has optimization problems. Now you need to get like a 3090 just to get 40 frames or whatever. I'm not going to bother for now. But I do like Ark, so if I feel like playing, I might just play more Survival Evolved for a bit. Grab some stone. Let's throw these traps down well I could do like six now huh all right traps down we're going to bed Conan is better than Ark. I feel like it depends on the mood I'm in, but... Because I think I technically have more hours in Ark, but I do love both games. Alright, where should I build? Before I build, there's one more management thing I need to do before I forget. Alright, the oats is already set. We need to set everything to... Flax. We are in a flax season. The rotation fields, all flax. So much flax. And maybe I'll make sure we have enough fertilizer. I definitely know we have enough flax seeds. 
This field, we're just doing oats. And then wheat can stay wheat, I don't care. Everything else is good to go. I feel like I want to rip out I don't really want to rip out a field it would be cool if I had the maybe I could put the mill somewhere near the barn we're gonna to have to look around the mill I could put it where those trees are. I really wanted to put the mill like somewhere over here. Like I could rip out this field and throw the mill down. I think I'm going to. We are going to destroy an entire field. To be fair, it is the smallest field. Goodbye. Imagine if it doesn't fit. Oh my god. Don't do this to me. Oh. I mean, at least fit in a good way. It's not even straight. My mouth's dry. No, this isn't fair. literally just spinning it till I see some green. I'm thirsty. All right, fine. I'll go take care of that. Mills the star of the village because it takes so much to have them. But they're so good once you get them, though, because all that flour my flatbread my flatbed bread production is gonna go pop off if i get this thing but that's the problem i can't even get this thing take down the fence and it'll fit let's try it i'm willing to redo the fence oh i'm gonna have to I hope I don't have to redo the entire fence. I might have to. At least I get free building points if I do it. All right, guys, we're going to try it out. And if I hate it, like if I absolutely hate it, I'll rip it down. Oh, wait. Wait. Nope. Okay. Let's do like slight movements. I can work. I might be able to work with this. Might. Might not. I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to build it. Four planks, ten. Ten planks, four logs. 
By the way, love the thumbnail of the duck. Yeah, I just changed it like at the last minute. I was like, wait a minute. What's the name of my village? That's a good question. New Skaki. Directly next to Skaki. I don't I, I don't remember what I... I initially was like wondering what I should name it. I don't think I ever did really. All right, give me the planks. Give me some logs. Nine logs. We're really struggling out here. Not on firewood, though. What the? Oh, no, we got we got a surplus of logs. We're fine. I think I just pulled them all out of my. Uh. My resource storage, I guess. I'm just going to have to take some of these. Crazy what happened at Bondi Mall. I did hear about that this morning. That's crazy. The world is in a wild state for sure. Piascovia, Jville. Do you think they'll ever make it so you can actually name your village? Like, I need a sign. Wow, this is a lot of logs. This is a lot of wood in general. Village of Destiny. Alec Alexandrovitz? I'll just name my village the Oxbow. And now I'm going to colonize the entire valley what is this place like a barony i'm gonna take it all oh polish nobility oh, okay i don't really know anything about polish history i'll be honest wait let's take that potion this will help us a little bit Potion of weight, fish tart. Just leave that stone there. My resource storage is a mess, but I mean, it's got the resources. That's what counts. Get all the logs down, and now we need 36 planks. I could have used the mule, but... It's so close to the resource storage. 
and I'm done with it. It's not like that that flatbread montage that took like an entire day in game. All right, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. I'm not crazy about it. But for the sake of the stream and having a mill, I'm going to leave it. Eventually, I'll find a new place for it. Wrong fence. You were destroying it all. It's all going. A disaster strikes. How you? How's it going? How's it going? We just built a windmill. I don't know if I'm happy with how it sits, but I mean, we have one. That's the most we can ask for at this point. I could set a row of orchards there. I don't know. I might just do like some um, decorating. Like throw some cool looking stuff over here that makes it not look so obvious. We'll see. I might be able to fit like some small plots there, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Unless they're like plots I just don't want to manage. And they're just kind of there. I need some sticks. We named the mule donkey after the donkey from Shrek. I mean, yeah. I don't like this. I don't want to rip out the entire fence, though, just to redo all of it. But I'm going to do it. Oh, this is stressful. I need to make sure I don't hit my field. You know, I'm leaving it. I'm leaving it. I don't want to touch it. Oh, I can make stone fences now. I didn't realize. I don't know when I unlock stone. I bet it would look good. Do it in first person. I think if I just like look straight down, like if I keep that destruction mode on and then just see that scary, like I wasn't aiming for that back wood. All the money is on the line. Oh, I'm sweating. Okay, the hard part is done. You have all day off too important to you guys. You know, we, we need the lead. We need the advice out here. What do you think of building at the waterfall? The waterfall is not a bad place to build. Because it's really close to Piastovia. It looks really good. You got a cave right there. My biggest problem with the waterfall is you really only have like this much space to build a village. There's not much room on this side and there's a little bit of room over here. 
So if you want to expand, maybe put your fields on the other side of the water or on this side, or be willing to build things on this hillside. Else you're going to have to... Eventually you're going to get too big and you need to expand either over here, over here, or just... Yeah, just be right. Just be prepared that you're gonna have to build all around this area, not just the little valley. But if you're okay with that, yeah, this place works perfect. This place is a great spot to build. All right. We need build mode again so we can make sure it's even. I guess destroy mode. It's so much cheaper just to do sticks. So I'm just going to focus on sticks for now. I might polish the village up and change it to stone later. I wish we had some like bigger stone gates though. Not just the small one. All right, that'll do. And free building points with it. Even naturally, that kind of looks off. Oh, well. You can only do so much. I wonder if there's enough room for stone walls, because I know they're a bit thicker. Have you played Daisy before? Um, I don't think so. I used to watch people play Daisy back in high school, but then there was that phase where like Daisy wasn't being touched, so everybody was like, "Don't touch Daisy." But I've heard it's gotten better, but I still haven't played it. Did I put all my workers to work? I did. I thought I would have one more. You know what? We could work with this. With how we set up the fence and now it like somewhat aligns, you know what? Maybe I won't hate this. I do want to do a bit of decorating around here though. Maybe I'll put like some barrels under this. Let's grab some planks. Do a bit of decoration. Give me them planks. Where are they at? Not a lot of planks, but should be enough. break these Let's try that again a little bit more aligned not enough resources that's okay it's enough you're having fajitas for dinner tonight am i having chicken and rice again i had chicken and rice last night I ain't gonna lie there, man. I did have chicken and rice last night. And you know what? It was delicious. 
If I had leftovers, I would eat more, but I don't. Question, what's up, Metal? Know me too well. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm a very simple guy when it comes to food. Look at all these traps. I always found it interesting how they have rat traps, but rats themselves don't really have an impact on the game. Like, there's no rat mechanics. Like, because at least, you know, you can find rabbits and birds and fish. But you can't find rats anywhere. Now right, we got the six there. Let's grab some stone, put the other traps down. I can set a better place for those traps. I mean, I could. But part of me wants to just kind of ignore traps and just start going out hunting seasonally. As as tacky as they look, just sitting in front of my, my house. I'm always running past the front of my house. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I, the, w I, the way I redid my houses is by building like two house households. You redid you like you redid them so that you made it so you're all doing like the small houses instead of the big ones. Cause right now I think I mean I live in a small house, right? But I'd wanna say maybe like twenty how many of my houses are big? Most of my houses are still small. The only people I'm moving to big houses are like the best of the best villagers or the ones that I wanted to like have their second babies. Because eventually having those extra villagers are going to be nice. So, you know, now that there are four people in these two houses, for example, Wolislava and Marwald. I mean, Wolislava still has a couple years, but once they're done, or like in the next two years, they won't need to be moved anymore. These guys, same thing. One more year, they won't need to be moved anymore. But then you have a couple like people in four person houses where it's like, they're going to have some kids. They're going to have some kids. They're about to have one. But I definitely like to keep a couple houses where it's just three because you don't want everybody to transition at the same time. When is the plague update? Honestly? They probably won't do it. Okay, what I did is I plot with plank fences and put two houses and one to two workplaces per plot. I think I'd have to see it. It's kind of confusing. But I mean, I don't think it should be... I don't think there's any bad way to do it. Can you have two wives if you divorce the first one or if she leaves you? Then you can have your second wife. Not going to have the first one anymore, but you can have a second one. Eat my fish tart.
Disaster wants rat and rice. Uh, you know, I'm, I don't know what a rat tastes like, but I don't think I'm curious enough to know, to want to know what a rat tastes like. Sir J is less murder than me. I've been playing Banner Lord too much. You know, I got to play, I, I put the video out yesterday, right? So I got to play Bell Wright a little bit, but... I also got invited to play Manor Lords a bit early, so I've been trying to play Manor Lords a bit on some of my free time. All these medieval games have been trying to get my attention, but I only have so much attention. Oh, snap. We need to make the metal weapons. All right. Take back everything I was doing. We're going to the mines. Before the season is over, I don't want to lose that rep, so we need to go mining. Banner Lords and Manor Lords got you messed up. Same genre, a little bit different gameplay. Are there any more lords you should know about? Maybe the lord of paying the king's tax. The goose lord demands it. Don't make him pull out the crossbow again. All right, time to mine some radioactive metals. Where's all the iron? Tin. Salt. Copper. Tin. You guys are all mining in the wrong places. Tin. Am I blind? It should be here. It's probably in the back, right? Isn't that how it is? It's going to be in the back. Maybe not completely. Bro, you are playing Medieval Dynasty, a Polish game, and now you're playing Manor Lords, which is another Polish game? I didn't know. <laughs> There's no, I, I had no idea. I swear. But it is fun. I love this genre, man. But I played uh, Manor Lords for maybe like five or six hours. I'm considering doing a stream of it in the next couple weeks. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to let it be known. I think it'd be fun. There's always Lord, the music artist. Every time I hear about her, I just think of South Park. There we go. Hey, thanks for the five bucks disaster. I appreciate it. Got caught evading. Here's the extra three. You get to keep your head today. Uh -oh. Take that potion. We need to go drop all this metal off. Maybe we can go pick up a little bit more since I took the potion. Don't stream it before the 26th. Why not? I think I've seen some people streaming it. I think it's just you can't put out a review. There's like an embargo where it's like you can't put a review out or put like your opinion on whether you should or shouldn't buy the game. 
My intention would be just to like play it. Though with all these things fighting for my time, I may I may just wait for that week. Because the problem is Bellright comes out the same week as Manor Lords. So it's like I gotta it's competing for my time. Alright, I picked up too much. Let's drop all the stone. Polish is such a hard language to learn. I mean, look at those names. I've learned a lot of how to pronounce the names, though. I've, I think I'm getting better. I just gotta remember all the the rules. I think that's the most of the iron. And if not, I mean. Oh, we got more. Salt, copper. Tin, just get me out of here. Get me out of this cave. Way to go, Polish Game Studios pumping out good stuff. Apparently. Ah. I heard that Manor Lords is made by like one guy too. Like what? That sounds crazy to me. April 26th is the release date. You're just spoiling it that way. Fair, but I mean... Everybody else has already spoiled it for the people that are desperate enough to look at it. I don't know if I do it on a Sunday stream. I think my Sunday streams are strictly Medieval Dynasty for now. It would be like a surprise Saturday or Friday stream if I did anything. Alright, let's go take this home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Rules don't apply to Sir Jay Walker. I wish. But the king still demands tax from me, too. It's just the way of the game. I went the wrong way, too. I don't know why I went the long way. Manor Lords is made by a dude and his girlfriend, if you recall. That's kind of awesome, though. Like, this game has been getting, like, so much, like, hype and attention. And it's made by, like, such a small, like, group. I think that's amazing. Even for, like, those three... What was it, like, five hours I played the game? Like, if you told me, like, you know, it was 100 people working on it, it feels like a lot of people have been working on it. But I think it's just been, like, worked on for a very long time. Take me to Skowki. How does your wife let you game for so long? What's the tactic? Married a gamer herself. <laughs> if she games just as hard, if not harder than me, then it's a win-win, right? They're from Poznan, if you're not mistaken. Polish immigrants from in South Brazil. Done a real good job at avoiding Manor Lord spoilers. Been following it since it popped up on Steam. Very difficult to avoid spoilers. That's fair. That's fair. I'm not going to try and spoil, like actively spoil the game for you guys. But I will let you know if, you know, I start streaming the game, you know, I'm not going to be like, you need to watch this, you know, just avoid it. Every generation has the epic game made by a single hermit for eight years. It's the, it's the hidden gems, you know. 
Those are the things you appreciate. All right, we're going to bed. We're going to do this last day. And maybe I will change it to two day seasons. I feel like my farms are going to... I don't think my farms can handle two day seasons. I need more farmers before I can do that. Or I'm going to have to help them myself. I did cut out one field. This is flaxed up. This is half flaxed up. This is not even done. Yeah. We need the third day still. Does anybody play Caesar 3? Is Manor Lords like that? I was never a big fan of the Caesar games. But I did play the other Sierra games like Emperor, Zeus and Poseidon, um, Pharaoh, Cleopatra, those types of games. And I mean, it kind of gives the same vibe. It almost feels like a mix of that plus like the newer strongholds because it's got like the new 3D graphics, but it's still very much like you're managing resources and your economy and all those things. All right, let's see what we got to make. We need one scythe, spears, arrows, axes, crossbows. Do I have enough for... I need feathers. Let's get... Take some logs. I think eight will be enough. I might need linen thread and then I might need some leather. And feathers. And we'll start with that. 6,000 feathers. What am I doing? I haven't been drinking enough today. Couple goals. Yeah. Ah. Get with the gamer guys. Yo, Jay, looking back from the first seasons, it feels so good to have the village you have now. Just want to say congratulations. Thanks, man. I mean, when you really think about it, like, I'm stuck. This village has changed dramatically. Like, even just, like, the last two years on its own. It used to just little, literally be this road and just be like this. Like, this was all we had. But now we got all of this. We even got the village all the way out there expanding to the back. You can't really see it because it's so far. This village is huge. Age of Mythology or Empire Stream 1. They're making a new Age of Mythology. Did you know that? They're actually making a new Age of Mythology. I will probably play that. Not going to lie. Going back to lurking and listening, have fun. Thanks for hanging out, Disaster Strikes. Good luck out there. Leaving before I'm even building anything. I gotta fix that stuff really quick. I just walked away. All right, we want 33 arrows. So we gotta make four. It can be called a city. What development level is it actually? It should be, but because of my double technology, it might not even be considered. Oh, it's a settlement. We're getting there. I think if we were just 100% build or 100% building limit, we would be at city. This is the size of a city, though. That is true. Four axes, four spears. Three cross or two more crossbows. Four spear, right, right. What do we need for the crossbows? It's time for a beverage. All right, I'll get you that beverage, but let's find out what we need for the crossbow first. It's iron.
Well, I might have to take iron from our poor smith. Let's see how much he has. Actually, you're going really slow. I could be smelting and helping you. You are not keeping up. I get out of here, Malavouge. I need to smelt. Two more crossbows, four more spears. Oh, I need the scythe. Maybe we can make a scythe first. How are you? I need a stick. We got the scythe. Two crossbows. We need thread. I am stacked on thread. I don't feel like I've had this much of a linen and flax surplus, like ever. And then we need the spears. Four logs, four thread, that's easy. Do you have anything on you, stone? I will take that stone and this potion. I don't like keeping my donkey like full of stuff. And then four logs. You know what we need to do? We need to cut back dramatically on this firewood. Even more. Let's try with that ratio. Did I grab those logs? I did. Four iron spears. Let's go. All right, we got the quest done. That's like 9,000 coins. And then our barn is struggling. Animal feed, no straw. That's too bad. You know what we're gonna do? Who is our best? Alaric. Is he our best? I don't care. Alric, you're the guy. You're Himothy. You are going into the windmill. Congratulations. And let's check and see how much grain. We want to start converting. Rye grain, I know we have a lot. So I feel like rye grain is going to be the priority. Oats, a little bit of oats, lots of rye, 7,000 rye. Calm down. Okay. Rye and wheat, we need to get rid of it. 
or thresh it. We'll do like 30. I have a lot of rye. So I want to get this done. Let's do 30, 60, 10. Joined hell hose by the wool. Bronze scissors are great too. Yep, those are really good things before you get iron. I was selling shearing scissors, but I think we ran out. Are we still are we still selling shearing scissors? Because I think I've swapped over to knives. Flatbread is really nice. If you can get to that point. Let's check our villagers levels. Tavern, what do we got? We got an eight and a four. We're getting oat beer and rye beer made. Do we have any juice? Let's check our fruit. That is not a lot of fruit. I only have like 10 apples. Five plums. Next season is when our fruits are going to be harvestable. And then we can make all the fruits and the beers and stuff like that. Add a distillery to the game. I mean, we got this, the brewing station. You got to get the tavern, though, which is late game production. Right now we got a beer and an ale being made. I want to make some juice. Honestly, mead. We need to make mead. We need... Let's just learn all these. We're going to need them eventually. I need you to move. Sobratomir. Give me it all. I don't even care. Let's just learn all the the uh the recipes. Money ain't really a huge problem right now. I feel like twenty or two. Let's do twenty percent. Should be enough. Two, four, nine. We could probably make more. If I recall, we have a lot of honeycomb. If I'm worried, I can just. Yeah, how much we got 900. I'm going to change this to like, we're not even going to sell it anymore. Let's do a bit of math. So I'm going through. Almost five meat a day. So that's 40 honeycomb. And then how much is the apiary making? The apiary is making 162. Okay, we're going to sell it. We could sell like 80 easily. But I think we're going to go for... 54. So we'll sell a little bit of our, our honey. We'll sell or we'll make some meat, uh, meat and stuff. I think that's going to still give us a bit of a surplus, which is okay. I'll worry about it when it gets too heavy. All right, sewing hut. What are you missing? Bags, leather. That's okay. Cut down the bags. Just to 80. I'm going to leave that there. At least do some work. Oh, I could make them make the pants for me.
I'm pretty sure I have wool fabric somewhere. It might just be thread, though. And if that's the case, we'll just make it into fabric. Excuse me. Give me half the wool thread. And we'll make it into wool fabric. Back had to season the chicken, got dinner. What games does the wife play? Pretty much the same games I do. Maybe more like... A lot of survival crafting, some simulator games. Was waiting for the rain to stop so you could buy rice and vegetables. The rain stopped and you won't go because of me. <laughs> hey, dude, if you got to do what you got to do, man. I don't want to hold you back. Wish we could get a dog companion. I agree. We need more uh, village animals. Not just farming ones. Because if you could get a dog companion, that would help you, like, hunt and track. I think that would be really cool. Hope we're full in here. What is holding us? What's holding us down? A lot of things are holding us down. I'm kind of low on fertilizer. What's going on there? Let's pull out half the limestone. And we're just going to throw it in the box. What else do we want to pull out? Maybe half the rye. Throw it in the box. Might be too big for the box. Yeah. Good enough. They got space. Alright, let's go turn these quests in. Maybe we, maybe we should do a bit of hunting. Let's check our skills out really quick. My hunting's at 5. My survival is at 5. Diplomacy is at six. Farming's at eight. Farming's all but done. I need somebody roasting meat. What are you guys doing over here? Scrambled eggs and pottage. You know what we're going to do? I don't even know how to pronounce the name. Persia boy. I'm taking you out. I want... Nigrod in here. And you're gonna go into the tavern and start leveling. I need the, uh... The speed. And they can level up. I think having some eights out in the production will be really nice. Because, yeah, look at that. We're getting so much more production going on now. We could even cut back on the scrambled eggs. I'm not going to. Let them do what they gotta do. I'll go cook it myself. Actually, I don't want to cook it. How much pottage are they making? 12? So what that's... So 36? Me today? You know what, we'll leave it as it is. I think that'll be good. Put the fishing spears away. Put the arrows away. I got bolts. Actually, no, we want to keep the arrows. We got to turn them in. 
We'll put the iron and the leather away, though. Fishing spears, buckets. Don't need those. All right, let's get out of here. You've actually suggested on the Steam thing that they have. I think I've even commented on the suggestions Discord page about the cats and dogs. Because I think they have a cats and dogs suggestion. So yeah, make sure to go vote in the Medieval Dynasty suggestion page too, because I have seen them take ideas out of that suggestion page and like roll with it. Cats, dogs, and mice for the cats to have any use. Yeah, I feel like if you had cats, you could have rats or mice be like a problem. What's for dinner, sir? I think chicken and rice is off the menu tonight. You don't know that. You don't know that. Honestly, though, I don't know. Maybe like mashed potatoes and roasted carrots with some chicken. Chicken is my staple. Take the scythe. Take the weapons. Give me all the money. Marcus Lav. I'm going to take stuff from you too. We'll take the animal feed. Because why not? We will take... The wool. Because why not? The leather. Honestly, anything I can hold. The donkey can hold all of that, so I'll give him that. We like to mix rice and beans in Brazil. Cow steak and some green shit. I do like steak. Maybe we'll just take the entire iron ore stack. And the manure. Leave it at that. Unless you can hold more. In that case, give me the daub and like give me half your fertilizer. Because I know we're burning through fertilizer and I don't know if we are breaking even. It's nice to have like the little buffer of extra resources. I'm definitely not hurting on money, so I, at this point I really don't mind buying any of the raw resources. It's mostly just as long as I can carry it back home. In fact, let's throw, let's give you the wool. Wool's going in the box. Oh, the donkey has the wool. Right before that then. Let's throw the iron in here. Take the wool, 
take the leather. This will go in here. Jump. Imagine an army of bandits just wearing this mask and jumping at you. I'd be horrified. They should totally like... That'd be kind of cool. The developers should commission somebody to draw like raiders wearing the goose mask. It'd be funny. How much does it take to insulate? Six each wall? I don't know if I have enough. I definitely don't have enough, actually. But this may settle some of my problems that I've been having. Alright, where's the daub? 18, yeah. We need some daub. You just need clay, right? I got clay. I got clay for days. Where the hell do you make daub? That's the barn, right? I like never make this stuff. So they usually just skip it. Excuse me, sir. You got a little bit of like 3,000 raw on your bench. You gonna take care of that? I wanna eat straw. Alright, leave the clay there. Three thousand straw. Okay, I thought I had none. We need shotguns. Yeah, I don't know if that would fit this current time period. You know, I don't think guns were shotguns specifically were invented. You know, what was the name of that game? There was a game that's coming out soon, and it's like. Some guy goes back in time. And he's like, he's got like the truck and the shotgun. Just like pillaging an entire like medieval battlefield. I always forget the name of that game. All right, look at all that daub. Take a potion. This stuff is heavy. This is purely cosmetic, by the way. It might help from the buildings, like, deteriorating, but it does not really help the animals in any way, or the villagers. Just get rid of this waddle. We're not going to daub that building. We're going straight for the fold. Maybe the farm shed, too. All right, the sheep are insulated. No, it's just not cosmetics. Look at the cow's smiling faces. Mm. 
They're just as lifeless as they usually are. Maybe they're smiling a little bit. <laughs> I was kidding. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I had to go ask the cows themselves if they were feeling a bit happier. My cows have to love me. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Actually, you know what? Speaking of animals that we can sell, let me check the, the demographics. How many bulls do we got to cows? We got two bulls and a baby cow. Get out of here. Wait, I just unassigned him. I didn't even sell him. I just abandoned him. No, sorry. Get out of here. There we go. Free money. Speaking of loving animals, who can I sell? Someone will have a better chance with that third bull. Definitely isn't me. There's no friendly fire in villages. LOL, don't ask how I know. Unless you're playing on co-op. Now that's true love right there. Yeah, if you love him, you gotta let him go. And get some money out of it. I dropped the straw. We don't want that. The fields are looking good. I think they're done. If I built a second house. And got two people in it. I bet they could fix these fields up in a season. Let me go check and see how we're doing on fertilizer and tools and make sure they got everything before I decide to do something so crazy. 382 fertilizer. Okay, we got surplus. 300 in here. If I can, I would prefer to move it. And I'll take something that they don't need out. That is a lot of firewood. They are going to need it eventually, but they don't need it right now. All right, they're good on fertilizer. How about tools? We got three hoes, one iron hoe. Sides? No sides. Not even me. All right, I guess we got to make some tools. Luckily, I do have the resources. I just need some sticks and some logs. And definitely not that many sticks. Should be more than enough. Should have slaughtered it and made some steaks for the village. I wish that butchering was a viable strategy because at this rate, there's only a few animals that are, that you'll break even if you actually decide to butcher them. But even then it's like, you're getting like one or two coins more than if you just sold them off. So it's really not worth it to me. You do get a lot of meat though. Like if you're really desperate, I guess you could kill your animal. But you might as well just go to the wild. All 
All right, let's smelt this iron, make some hose. Will the firewood in the bucket not despawn? Nope, it will not. Anything that you leave on the ground does not despawn, but food will rot unless you change the setting. But anything that's not food won't rot. Hose. Maybe like, let's just make 10. Let's just get them settled with all the tools they need. How is life treating you? And then I guess. I wonder how I'm doing on shearing scissors. Let's make eight knives for the market stall. Hold us over for another day. And I guess we'll make the rest in the sides. I'm down to try a two day summer. I'm curious to see if we can handle it. Here's the hose, the knives, and the scythes. The missus is not happy with the fetus. Might have to be Chinese tonight. Well, when you got to take out, you got to take out. Honestly, Chinese sounds pretty good. Gathering from all of my my traps. I wish the hunters could do this. Imagine if the hunters could set traps and then gather from traps. Sweet and sour chicken and rice. How did you know? How did you know? It's just an excuse for me to eat more chicken and rice. Alright, we need some stone. Maybe four stone. Um, where? Right here. Traps. Alright, traps are exceeded. Day is ending soon. We're gonna push this down to two days, guys. Yesterday we did a six-day season. That was kind of fun. But just to see if we can do it, let's try these two-day seasons. I do want to do, I'm going to make a few changes. Uh. Worst people in the barn. I mean, fours are good, but they're not the greatest. 
So yeah, Wojislava and Dobigniew. Dobigneva. Throwing their asses inside the farm. This will allow me to at least get these farms done a bit faster in two days. Oh, we have a five in here. How is the apiary guy? The apiary guy is probably the highest level farmer we have. Seven. We have a nine? Who is this guy? The fold dude? The fold guy is leveling faster than anybody? Really? What about this guy? This is this is the the pig lady or the pig guy, right? Alright, well. I didn't know the fold leveled you up so quickly. Unless I traded him around. He might have been initially the pigsty guy. Even even then though. Still pretty good. Alright, end of spring guys. We're gonna try and do two day season for summer. I don't know how easy it's gonna be. Yes, destiny knows it. Happy wife, happy life. Less quests in two day seasons? Really? All right, before we do anything, This is summer, so we're in a cabbage season. Cabbage, so much cabbage. Drowning in cabbage. But yeah, these are the only guys that I'm really worried about with the seasons being shorter. The wheat and the rye will stay as is. The orchards. Are oh, you gonna be able to do less quests within two Tuesday seasons? I mean, that's the one good thing. I've done all of the main quest lines and my Dynasty reputation is what? 25,000? I really don't need to be doing quests anymore. I can, but... Straw. I can, but I don't necessarily need to. What I do want to do is take all this rot, craft it into some fertilizer. Now I'm too heavy. We got to go buy more potions of weight. And 
the words from the dad in the first Transformers. Happy wife, happy life, unhappy wife, cold stone misery for the rest of your life. What? I feel like I've seen that movie, but I don't remember that. Is that the movie with Shia LaBeouf? Because if it is, I definitely saw that one at one point in time. If that's the one. Okay, okay. Then yeah, I have seen that, but it's it's been a long time. I was talking about it last week, but I went to go see the Godzilla and Kong movie. That one wasn't too bad. I had a lot of fun there. Me and my wife did watch the first episode of the Fallout series last night. I didn't think it was going to be... As interesting as it is. is Alright, we need to change before we burn ourselves up. But can we keep the mask on? We'll see. I'm going to keep the hat just in case. It might still be too hot. All right. Fields are going. People are working. Uh, Let's go, donkey. Easy now. Leave you right here. You got the manure. I knew I left something on you. I just took his saddle. Give me the copper. We'll move this over. I need to go in town and buy some things. And like I said last time, I want to hunt. I'm going to give them the day to see how well they do on the field. They have eight people, so they really shouldn't have a problem. Let's just leave the meat. You can cook it. Oh, we're full. Uh-oh. Well, let's take out all of this cabbage. I got a lot of stuff going bad. Let's put half the cabbage in. Or enough that I can carry it. Because what we're going to do is turn it to rot. Any rot in here? I can't carry that. I really need a gate right here. I didn't think I was going to need a gate. But I come from this side so much. Maybe do a bit of decorating. Get out of here. We're just going to leave the cabbage and the rot. Please don't roll. Just stay right there. Good enough. Barbecue, ribs, chow mein, egg, fried rice, mini spring rolls. Your order's done. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh. 
All right, let's leave town just temporarily. Make sure I have my crossbow. Make sure I got some arrows. Make sure the donkey has nothing on him. All right. Can I fix this? That builder cannot come any sooner. I can't fix it. I don't care. It'll be fine. Let's go hunting. In the usual hunting spot. I keep talking about it. I really want to do a stream where I just focus on decorating. And that might be next week's stream. I talked about it last week, but I got a couple Medieval Dynasty Steam keys. I want to I want to give away. So I might try and like let people know about that. Okay, I'm hearing something. Where are they at? Is it you? I think it's just you. He's coming. You're just too slow, buddy. How are you still alive? Was that not a headshot? Okay. We got another one over here. Oh, is that a third one? We're eating well tonight. All right, let him get closer. Come on. I would prefer to all like skin you all near each other. Maybe a little too close for comfort. The bow is OP. This crossbow is busted, man. It's the bow and the or it's the crossbow and the iron arrows. I got a weasen skull. I accidentally ate raw meat. That was an accident. I think I have poison bolts too. 80 damage, 65% poisoning. These would be a little bit better. I feel like poisoned iron bolts are a bit overkill though. Was that all the meat? That was all the meat. I'm still burning up. Please don't make me take off the mask. All right, there's bears around here. There's one. There's no way that bear saw me. Or maybe he's seeing the moose. Oh yeah, he saw the moose. He's like, what the fuck was that? How are you still alive? Okay. Sit down, please. Yeah, thank you. Scaring me a little bit. I think you asked last time, but you forgot thanks to Mary Jade. Have you played Sea of Thieves? I have not played Sea of Thieves. I've watched a little bit of Sea of Thieves, but 
I talked about it. I don't know if I talked about it last stream, but I, I talked about it when I was talking about like Subnautica and Stranded Deep and all those water games. I got like, I got like major thalassophobia. So like being in like open ocean, especially when they throw like sharks in there. I'm, I'm not about that. I can't see the, the floor below me. Oh, is that a guy? You see that? What the hell is this? Oh, it's the bandits on top of the mountain. Not going to ambush me today. Oh, you have a crossbow too? Oh, shit. All right, I don't want to get hit. Whoa, that was close. The sea is scary. Don't blame you. Yeah, like I said, I get like... Oh, this guy's got a cro or oh, headshot. Was that all of them? Was it just the two? The music's still going. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Why does everybody out here got a a crossbow? Is he gonna shoot? All right, that was a little too uh, low. That really hit me? Did like no damage. Dude, this helmet is unstoppable. I don't like doing these, these gunfights. How is he still up? Am I missing? Is like there's something in the way? Okay. He is done. No more bandits. Nah, it's like I like it, but at the same time, it's scary. I was saying like in Subnautica, I can get to like 300, 400 meters before I like tap out. And I try to go a bit further every time I play. I feel like Sea of Thieves wouldn't be as bad because you're not going to run into like Ghost Leviathans or Reaper Leviathans. Because like, for example, Raft doesn't bother me so much because I'm used to the fact that it's just like the shark. But if I still fall in the water, like as the boat was going, that still like freaks me out a bit. I said I was going to go hunting, and then I killed people. Still a form of hunting, I guess. How is your inventory? You're kind of full. I'm kind of full. Maybe we should just go home. Turn some stuff in. You don't like heights if you fall from a distance in games. It feels like you're falling. It's horrible. I get that feeling like the, like the first jump. Like it feels like, you know, when you're like in a free fall thing where it feels like your stomach just goes up a little bit and then it's good. So falling from big distances, I don't know. In a video game, at least it doesn't trigger me like those emotions. But like. Underwater gigantic monsters like coming at you in first person of all games. I'm like, no, you have to look away exactly. So you get where I'm coming from. I mean, the field's looking pretty good.
for one day, I feel like they're making a lot of progress. We'll give them more time. We're going to put the fur away. I feel like the V's in skull would look really cool if we started putting those in houses. This is full again. What keeps filling us up? Oh, now it's fertilizer. Take the fertilizer, drop it in the box. I might need to... I need to do something with this organization. I need to start taking out things that I know I'm not going to use. Like bottles and cups are so situational. Fishing spears I'd want to keep in there. It's mostly the fertilizer. You know what it is? It's mostly the fertilizer and all the grains. Take the apples, and the cheese, and the meat, and the onions, and the roasted meat. I know the donkey's got more meat on him. 200. Then we can take the leather. I could make some bags myself. I don't usually try and help the market stallers until they actually run out of resources, so I might just leave it for now. I really just want to keep focusing and make sure these guys get this stuff done. In fact, give me a scythe. I will help you. I have the skills. What's the windmill for again? The windmill um, gives you the ability to turn like rye, oats, and um, wheat into flour, but at a higher rate than the barn. So for example, I think the barn, let's see if I can pull it up. Let's say you got the barn, right? The barn has wheat grain, rye grain, oat grain, and it gets 14 of each and then 10 of the wheat. And I think it costs less for the flour that you're grinding. So if you look at the flour, 15, 12, 12 for six, and the barn, what was it? Ten, twelve, ten. 10. So you're gaining like a little bit more flour when you produce from the windmill. And the nice thing is you only need one person in the windmill to gain all this flour. So you can take all of your flour production, get it out of the barn and then put something else there. So once you're trying to like do like the flat grain or the, the flat bread thing and get your grain going, definitely get that windmill and get someone working in there. I get this field ripped apart I think I can get another worker going so let's just help them
I need potions of stamina. I need the fish tart. Maybe I should go pick some up. Or start making it myself. I wonder if I have the resources for it. I'm going to go look. I'm trying to think really quick. You'll have to live with that. You'll have to live with boiling. Clean ourselves up. So let's put all this stuff away. And we'll go sell. Oh, I did put it all away. Did I not? Seems like I did. Let's go, donkey. We need to leave. Get rid of all this gunk. Where's Henrik gone? He's gone to eat rice and chicken. Does he also eat chicken and rice? No, that's just me. In fact, I don't even need to go to Piastovia to sell this. What we're going to do is we're going to go buy... We're going to go visit Bozina. My favorite... My favorite cook. Bozina. How are you? Take my stuff. And while we're at it, give me all the fish tart. Take a fish tart. That'll save us our... Our stamina, at least. Bozina burnt my burrito. Bozina would never do that. Bozina's got like 20 cooking. Dude, I wonder if they'd ever do that, like add qualities to food. Like imagine if you had like a quality, like depending on the level of the person that made it, and that increased the stance. I think that'd be fun. Okay, fine. Put the hat on for now. I don't want to keep hearing them cry about how hot it is. Look how good fish tart is. Like, my stamina is untouched. You're literally invincible. I wish I could say the same for my scythe, though. Get what's left of the flax. So I feel like at the rate they're going, they'll probably be fine for tomorrow. Because this is all cabbaged up. This one's halfway done. This one's close to half, I guess. 
I think they'll make it. Throw all the flax away. And maybe we can start threshing it. Into the barn. You're missing flour? That's that's an okay problem. I think we want about 25 animal feed, 50 fertilizer. And how much... How much flax seeds? 50? It's not really a lot. I think that looks a lot better. 120 a day. How much flax we got in here? Oh. That's still going to take like 13 days, which would be like seven seasons. I have to help them. Actually, I'm not even going to have them do it. It's so light. Today is a support day. I'm actually getting stuff done. Your vids have so many views. Do you do YouTube for a living? Nah. I don't make anywhere near enough to do it for a living. The extra change is nice. I usually, I usually just put it all towards back into videos. It's definitely not a livable means of money. I mainly started because like I had issues with this game. When I started playing this game, I think I got a hundred hours into the game and I had not touched like half of the systems. So when I learned like something that I could have learned like 50 hours prior, I was like, you know what? I need to just make a video on these things. I bet there are people like me that have that problem. And surely enough, so I was just like, you know, what? I'm just gonna keep making videos. And I like being able to help people and like answer questions. I'm definitely not the... There are people out here that have like 2,000, 3,000 hours in Medieval Dynasty, so... You know, I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm better than these guys. I think everybody's always learning. I think I've taught a lot of those guys things and vice versa. I feel like a lot of the community has taught me a lot of things. And I just want to spread that knowledge, you know? You should hire a private wagon that you can make your own. When the right game drops, you'll pop because you are a great YouTuber. Your viewing rates are really good. I mean, they, I might. You never know. I'm kind of just going with the flow, doing videos and ideas when they come. I'm not trying to like build my expectations to a point where I just like, I don't know, decide like things aren't going as good as they should be when, I mean, they're going pretty good even now. So I'm even pretty happy with where I'm at. But yeah, you're right. I do want to like branch out. I definitely like medieval games, RPGs in general. So I want to, you know, show off like Bell Wright. I want to show off Manor Lords, VR Medieval Dynasty. And I'm not too concerned on, you know, whether those videos do really good or not. I mean, I, you want to, right? But when you branch off and do different things, you're always going to expect a drop in viewership. 
Or you could get a spike. You never know. Alright, this is way too much stuff. I'm the best medieval dynasty YouTuber, hands down. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. There are a lot of good YouTubers out there that play this game. I wasn't big in like watching Medieval Dynasty YouTube videos like prior to me making them. But like I think I always I always drop her as a name like Rose makes the coolest things in this game. Like I could I'm I'm not near like the level of creativity she like builds. So I think it's really inspiring. 50 bags, 50% 50 bags. Let's cut this down. How much l linen thread could we be making? Because I think we want to focus linen thread. Three pants a day is not bad. Bags, I can worry about the bags. Bags are really easy. Hell, I could make some right now. Bags are so easy to make. Oh, your vids have good numbers. You're destined for great. You're, you're propping me up, man. <laughs> but I appreciate the kind words, you know. I'm glad to have some support for the community. That's also why I want to try and give back, you know. Any chance I've gotten with, like, getting free keys for games. I want to make sure I like gift it to the community. The day ones, the people that are out here, you know. That's why I do want to say this for anybody that is here right now. I'm not sure if it's going to be this or next week or the week after. So next Sunday is my birthday. And the stream might be a bit shorter. I might do a half stream. But I do want to gift some of the Medieval Dynasty Steam keys that I've gotten. That Toplets and Render Cube, Render Cube gave out to me. So if you're interested in getting a free Medieval Dynasty Steam key. Or you have a friend that really wants a Medieval Dynasty Steam key. Either Monday or Tuesday. All I will say is just like keep an eye out on the community page this weekend. In the next two days, I'll probably drop a hint, and then a couple days after that, I'll post something about how to get the keys. And it'll basically be like, fill out a Google form, tell me why you want the key. And then kind of like a first come, first serve basis. But I really want to give it out to like, people that I know are going to play the game, or people who have friends who want to play the game. Because when that co-op update comes out, I know a lot of people are going to want to play that. And ma mainly for like the people that maybe have it for console, but don't have it for Steam, you know. You're on Xbox, so you will donate to Henrik. <laughs> I'm sure he would appreciate it. Henrik's a great example of a, a guy that has more hours than me and has taught me a lot, I think. Henrik knows his stuff. That's why he's my son. Where is he? Let me put this axe away. This is kind of suspicious. He's just sleeping. Grab some some sticks and build this thing. OMG guys, this trapper watch out. What's up, Asterite? Nah, we ain't playing no Dead by Daylight today. 
That would be a funny game to stream. I heard a lot of Dead by Daylight streamers are are quitting streaming. I don't know if that's entirely true. We're just done playing Dead by Daylight. Time to time to jump in on that. No, wouldn't everyone would be toxic? How do you become a member? I don't have membership set up. So we were talking about that last week. I thought I had membership set up, but apparently I don't have membership set up. So next week I'm going to have membership set up. My main issue is like, I wanted to give like, like an incentive to become a member. Like, you know, have the opportunity to put out videos a day early or get a cool badge. But at this current time, I don't really have any, like, incentive. What the hell is she doing? Lou Bamira. This is witchcraft. Or physics? How are you doing this? Crazy stuff, Lubomira. I'm going to bed. Right, we need to go to Piestovia, get some potions, grab some other stuff. You don't tried it on your laptop just now. Yeah, I don't know what I did because I, I thought I set them up like months ago. But I guess I didn't do it correctly. Hello, wife. It's time to spread your wings and become the YouTube god you're born. See, I, I don't think I'm ready to... I don't think we're ready for that yet. <laughs> Definitely not making sustainable money. What's going on? I'm like floating. Oh, it's the rock. All right, take me to Piestovia. I've never talked about it before. I work in computers, so I'm kind of a computer guy in general. All right, Oxbow. Where is the herbalist? I want all your potions. What is their name? I'm roasting out here. How am I roasting? I have the best clothes on. Impossible. Oh. Ludamila. I think you're the lady I'm looking for. Hand me night vision. It's not stamina. Temperature, weight. Healing, I guess. I don't really need it. It's not a Beevil Dynasty stream without at least one NPC defying God. Yeah. You're not wrong there. 106 iron arrows. I could do that. 142 wheat grain. I could also do that. 20 I'm going to do these. Cave or clay vial, thistle, bucket of water. Nah. Waste. That one's a waste. Beerflation. Yeah, this season's kind of a test. We're seeing how well we can survive a two-day season. Because if I want to keep doing, like, year-by-year -year basis in my streams, I feel like two days might be a better... Like, it might make things more spread out and better. 
Or at least the streams. What's my top three movies of all time? That's hard. I gotta think about that. I feel like one would be Scott Pilgrim versus the world. I feel like that's an easy top three one. Maybe like Lord of the Rings or a Star Wars movie. I see. I'm not really a big movie guy. I used to be into movies a lot more when I was younger. I've gotten more into like just watching TV shows. I like Star Wars Episode 3. I think that's my favorite one of all the Star Wars movies. Hobbit is better than Lord of the Rings for you, really. I never watched the other two Hobbit movies. I watched the first one. Maybe like the original Pirates of the Caribbean. That one's a classic for me. Have I ever watched Prison Break before? I did when I had basic cable when I was a kid. <laughs> when nothing else was on. But at that current point in time, I wasn't very interested in it. Let's make some more bags. Why not? I used to also be really big into anime, but I feel like I've cut back on watching a lot of anime in like the last two or three years. It just ain't hitting the same for some shows. Unless that show is Vinland Saga. How are we still full in here? What is taking up all this space? Stone? I'm going to need a second wicker basket at this rate. I missed the wicker basket. Whatever. And right, we can put this linen fabric away now. these bags I feel like I still need to pull things out maybe all this fur actually why do we have all this fur hunting lodge what are you doing less fur more leather it's not that much more leather, but I kind of need the leather more. The only anime you like those Pokemon? I mean, it counts, but there's a lot of people that wouldn't count it, I guess, because it's like older. But it's no different from like, you know, Dragon Ball Z being an anime. Or like Naruto or One Piece. It's just one of those long running shows. My max weight is 80, but I have a potion to bump it up to 100. Wait a minute. I'm wearing both my bags. That's right. I 
like some of the newer age animes though. I mean, you can't really consider some of them animes because they're just like animated, but like the new Castlevania series that came out in like the last six years, like that entire series was really good. I don't really like the second series as much as the first, but it's not bad. Oh, we don't need this flax. Back up to animal feed. Good enough. The windmill, I expected to run out of some grain eventually. Wow, we really burnt through the... Wait, 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 wait. We didn't burn through the rye grain. We just displaced it. Give me that rye. Give me this chest. 170. We got the room. We need 22 limestone. Let's get the stuff for the quest. Twenty-two limestone. We got the. We need a little bit more wheat grain. Maybe some iron, so we can make these arrows. I probably need like. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough. Forty. And then we need some feathers. And then we need some sticks. This should be enough for the arrows. Used to watch the Batman animation, or is that not anime? Uh, I mean, if it's not made by Japan, that's basically, it's basically not considered an anime. Which is why I was saying, like, Castlevania is like a new age anime, because it's not really, it's not made in Japan, so it's hard to call it an anime, but. I don't know, it's dumb, because anime just means animation. So it's not wrong, but I guess it's a style. I need you to move. We need to smelt. And that will be good. Netflix made some good ones. If you haven't seen the cyberpunk anime, I think that's a really good one. I used to watch anime on Netflix all the time, but... Like I said, I haven't watched a lot lately. All right, we got the arrows. Nope, we're missing 13 arrows. Let me double check and make sure I don't have any. You think you want to go to Japan after Disney? That would be cool. I think that would be fun to do sometime. Keep moving this guy out of the way, I feel bad. Alright, we got the quest done. Let's go turn him in and then we'll see where we're at. I'm thinking we might build another house. We kind of need... We could probably use a couple more villagers. Hello. 
Heistovia, please. All right, Derwin. I got your stuff. Give everything to my dude. And maybe we'll build another house by this mining outpost. We need more. Um, I don't know. I feel like we need at least one or two more houses over there. And then we can move all the mining, the mining families over there. The hell was that? How are we still roasting? Here, let's take a potion. Temperature potion. Huh. Let's take this shovel out. Or this stump out with the shovel. These houses might be a little too close together, but I don't really care. I'm not going to be out here very much. We got to stock up on as much wood and stone and transfer it over. And then we can go get maybe one or two more villagers. Give me your logs. Give me your stone. And your sticks. And your planks. My wares have a good day. But yeah, I think for next week, since the stream is going to be a little bit shorter, we'll see if I can get two, like, half streams in. I don't know if we'll be able to. But if not, what I might end up doing is do that half stream, and then maybe the week after we'll do the Manor Lord stream. Because by then, Manor Lords will be out. Manor Lords comes out on the... The 26th. So yeah, that's what, five days? That's Thursday. So yeah, maybe like Friday or Saturday I'll stream Manor Lords the week after. I do have another tutorial for Medieval Dynasty I want to work on, though, so I may do that this weekend. We'll see. Not entirely certain yet. All right, that was a waste. Sounds good. What's the plans for your birthday? Um, It's a good question. Probably get, like, 
Texas Roadhouse or something. Watch a movie. I was thinking about... Because like we usually watch a movie on my birthday. I was thinking I would check out the most recent John Wick. I've seen all three John Wicks. Or the first three John Wicks like on plane rides. And I wanted to watch the fourth one on the last plane, but they didn't have it. So I might just have to find some time to watch it on my own. So yeah, I think I'm going to... I might watch John Wick. I don't know. Hey, Sensational, how's it going? It's going well for me, at least. We're uh, focusing on getting this village done. I got like a mini hamlet right here. We got like a, a mine. We're getting two houses. Just relaxing on a, a nice Sunday, playing some video games. I'm out of stone. Give me those planks, though. Still trying to work out how to play this game. It takes some time, right? It definitely takes a lot of time. I'm still learning about new things. But yeah, we're on the new map right now. The Oxbow. We're at year nine, as the stream said. I did cut the days per season back, like la like just recently, to two, the two days per season back in the spring. So we're gonna have a bit shorter seasons, but I'm gonna see if we're gonna keep it like that because I'm worried my farmers are gonna need that extra day. Oh, more cursed people. My tutorial style helps a lot. Glad to hear it. I'm, I'm happy. For every video that helps somebody, you know, that's basically what I needed when I first started playing this game. The the learning curve for me took a bit. I didn't mean to sell those. Why did I sell that? Hey, Howard, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good, man. We're just chilling today. We're trying to build a house. I bought all the stone. I need to go get more. More cursed people. Well, you did just arrive. I think this is the the third cursed person of the stream we've run into. The ever falling wagoner. My wife was like sitting on a, a open rabbit trap. Some witchcraft. Give me maybe some logs. No, we have the logs. We don't need the logs. Take those back. I want the planks. It's probably not enough planks. And I need 100 stone. And then how about 100 limestone? But we're going to throw that onto the donkey. And that should be good. I guess it would be a good time to ask. Like, I feel like I've done most of the big tutorials. So if there's any, like, specific things you guys want me to, like, touch up on or, like, give a good review on I could I'd be happy to try and make some other videos I feel like I've brushed up on like the biggest topics but I know there's always something that's missed you know like I really want to redo the marriage guide because now that you're in the oxbow you can marry a guy so there's a completely new set of rules that I don't have a video on What does my wife say about my wife in game? She liked Ed Berga better than Lubomira. Ed Berga was my 
my OG girl in my original run. But she was a beast. Now my wife's played a little bit of Medieval Dynasty. When she wishes to let herself be known, I'm sure she will. Until then, she'll be a lurker. Just played today, but boy, it's exhausting when you have to stand up. Also, gathering takes time. Oh, you're, are you playing a... You're talking about a new settlement, right? Oh, yeah, you did say played some new, more new settlement. I've played like an extra couple days. Right now, like literally everybody and their mother is putting out a new medieval game. And I've gotten a couple codes. So I've been trying to like balance my time between like four games right now and it has not been easy. Sorry, hold on. Let's get that limestone. Did I finish all the walls? Nah, maybe I'll just pick up some rocks. I think you could try like doing an hour long lore video, like a very long or very eloquently put together would. I wonder how that would work. I have my story video where I basically go over the original story. I always did think it'd be interesting, like a historical video that talks about like what like history was like during the medieval dynasty times and make it like this mockumentary type style video. That would be a project, though. That would be a big project. All right, two more logs. We'll be done in here. A tutorial of surviving the first year, how to manage a whole village, what your village needs to function. I do need to redo my surviving the first year video. Now that we're in a new update. I've been doing a lot of managing videos lately, so I might wait before I do another one. But it's not a bad idea. I want to do one that like, goes over like all the workplaces. So that people know like the nuances of certain workplaces. Because there are a lot of nuances for some that I feel like people don't pick up on. How to get rid of the stay vigilant quest? I wish. I think that is not going away until they finish up their story. If you guys didn't know, the the Oxbow story is not complete yet, so this map isn't completely done. That's why you still have this stay vigilant quest. I've basically checked everywhere, and yeah, I'm, I've done everything I can. Maybe that's what the uh, surprise update will be with the Oxbow um, thing coming to the other platforms. Gone through the playlist Jay has done on YouTube, and those are some of the extra ideas. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Anything I can do to help out the community and get some, put out some extra videos, you know what I mean? Because I don't want to, like, completely... I don't think I'd completely, like, get out of Medieval Dynasty, but I, I want to make sure I'm still putting out... Medieval Dynasty videos on the side of, like, my Bell Riot video or my Man and Lords video. Or, like, I want to go back and make a Sengoku Dynasty video. I haven't played that game in at least a year, six months, I made like a should you buy review. And I feel like it might be time for another one because the game has gotten a lot of updates. We'll keep that.
You know what? Let's... We don't need to be here. We need to be... We're gonna grab some stuff in the resource storage. And then once we finish that, we're running home because we need to make sure the fields are done. My fields are, are struggling. What's my favorite game now and of all time? My favorite game right now... And I'm probably putting more time in a medieval dynasty than any game right now this week or each week. But I mean, on like my free time, I'll play like Project Zomboid sometimes. I play a lot of Smite. I think Smite is probably my most played game off stream right now. Um, That one's like a mythology third person MOBA. I used to play a lot of WoW. But my all-time favorite game is probably Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. I feel like every year I go back to the game and I like replay it. I love that game. Let's get another 100 limestone. Transfer that over. And... Maybe fur and straw. Like straw. For the Himalayas. And then we want fur for the... The rugs. And then let's grab some planks. I kind of need eight planks. Are you too heavy? Yeah, you're too heavy. My horse is overloaded. This is not a horse. As far as I know. There we go. Drop it off. Your favorite right now is Fallout 4, but Sims 4 is your all-time favorite. Fallout 4 is a lot of fun. I remember when Fallout 4 came out, I was I was eating that game up. I grew up on The Sims, so I played a lot of The Sims 1, Sims 2, Sims 3. I probably played the most... Probably Sims 2... I think Sims 1 gives me the biggest nostalgic, like, feel, though. What just happened? Oh. My potion ran out. I was like, why did I stop? I pop the potion, the fish tart. Get all my stats going up again. Your friend loves Smite, Destiny. I've played Smite since... Oh man, when did that game come out? 2016? 2015? I've been on and off for a long time. I played a lot in like the first two or three seasons, then stopped, and then came back at like season 9 or 10. I used to make a lot of smite montages. That was what kind of got me into editing in the first place. Partially, at least. Alright, let's throw these decorations down. Badger rugs for days. Actually, I probably have so much. We could do something else. Got the Himalayas. We'll throw a relief and we'll throw a. I guess two reliefs. You're the duck house. Congratulations. Oh. 
you try like a speculative approach where you just gather some info and you guess some other info and make a story that is not told per se. I don't know how that would work. I would definitely have to like search. There are a lot of interesting like side stories in the Oxbow that I feel like would be cool to talk about, but I kind of want to wait till um, the Oxbow map is done. Because a lot of the side quests on this map are really cool. Sims 2 on PS2 was amazing, but you also played all the titles, which is your only gaming flex. I did play a lot of the console Sims. I wish I remembered what Sim... I feel like I would remember if I saw it. But, like, I remember playing, like, The Sims 1 on console. I remember playing Sims Bustin' Out on console. That was, like, GameCube days. I'm more than certain I played Sims 2. I don't know if it was PS2 or GameCube or Xbox or whatever, but I definitely played it. Alright, this house looks good. What else can we throw in here? Himalese. No way I used all my fur. Maybe I gave it to you. I did. Give me that fur. And I guess the straw. You love Apex Legends? I'm bad at it and it's this game is hard but so much fun. Yeah, I never really got into Apex. In fact, I've never played it before. Shooter-wise, I've only really played like Halo, Call of Duty, Paladins. I used to be really big into shooters, but that's one thing that I'm not really into as much. Actually, when I play shooters these days, I like survival games, kind of like Vermintide or Left 4 Dead. Like the survival co-op shooters. I think that's going to have to do. I don't have extra things I can throw on these guys. Alright, donkey. You are not going to carry me home. So I'm running. I may have wasted too much time. My fields may have felt it. To do a tutorial on best building locations and why slash your go-to favorite building, mining, or farming areas. That could be interesting. Maybe like some insight videos. Left 4 Dead was scary. Left 4 Dead was super scary when I was a kid. Like, playing that game alone scared the hell out of me. But, like, when I play with friends, like, those are the funnest games with friends to me. Even, like, the limited lifespan of Back for Blood was fun. Sims 2 on PS2 and PC were the sassiest of all titles. Herbs and Bustin' Out were incredible. I did play a little bit of the Herbs. I remember that. How is life treating you? We need Skalky, not Klonitsa. I don't think I ever beat herbs, but I definitely remember the whole like rep thing and the they got the black eyed peas to sing like let's get it started in Simlish. I thought that was the funniest thing as a kid. The forest on Steam was scary. Yeah, the forest is another scary one. I've played a little bit of uh, the new forest, Sons of the Forest, and it definitely still has that vibe, but I feel it's a bit more janky than the original forest. But the forest is another great example of like a scary game. Gotta go now. Have fun, guys. Appreciate you hanging out, Henry, uh, Howard. Sorry about that. Thanks for hanging out, Howard. 
It's always good to see you, man. We got a lot of... I think we got everything... set up, right? Oh, there's like one slice of the field that's not done. I mean, for the most part, it's that was... We got it all, right? Oh, nope, there's a little... small area here, too. All right. Time to grab the seeds. We got some work to do. Pop night vision. And I need a bag. I definitely have plenty of bags. Slap it on there. Let's put these seeds down before the season changes. Black Eyed Peas in the game were so funny. Didn't know there was a second forest game, though. Yep. It's called Sons of the Forest. It's not called, like, The Forest 2. I think a couple weeks ago, it just came out of Early Access. It's hard to say whether I like it more than the original Forest right now, though. I haven't put much time into it. But, like, the building style and the gameplay are... Like, they're going to be familiar if you know the forest. Dying Light 1 was scary. Haven't tried the second one, though. That's the one with the zombie parkour, like, aspects, right? Like, you have... You can, like, jump around the city. And, like, the zombies get crazy at night. I've always wanted to play that game, but I never picked it up for whatever reason. Like, that game's, like, right up my alley, too. This field is wheat, but I didn't want to plant it. Good enough. Good enough, I say. On a fall. What we will do is... Do all these conversions. I feel like this would be the biggest upgrade I want. Like, I wish there was a way to rotate your fields automatically. Like, spring, oh, this is what's going to be planted. Fall, that's what's going to be planted. Summer, plant this. But I got to do it manually for each field. Wheat is going to stay wheat. And I think everything else is fine. Where's my potion of wheat? There we go. Can't leave my house without it. It's scary at night surviving loot games. Yeah. You know another good one? Um, Dead Island is another great, like, co-op survival loot and shoot type of game. Do I have a scythe? 
Yes, I do. I'm going to get a head start for these guys. Just, just this field, though, I think. I feel like since this other field is, like, empty, they shouldn't need the help this season. freezing now there's no in between I wonder I wonder if there's like the perfect outfit that will keep you like warm and cool every season or if you have to change I feel like since the newest update you can't do that anymore oh my god Henrik you're swinging swords at me uh, do I have a sword for you? I don't. Here's a bear. Give you the little bear figurine. I feel like the goose hat and the fur hood should be enough. And if it's not, well, I'll throw some boots on too. Maybe in a mod one day, Destiny. Maybe in a mod. I'm really hoping the devs decide to, like, push mod support for this game in the nearest future. Part of me doesn't think they're going to do that, though, until, like, they're basically done with development. And they're like, all right, we're going to work on a new game. Here's mod support. We'll, you know, update and do these things. But we're not putting out updates anymore. That's why I think, like, them adding, like, outfits or something for animals so you can, like, customize those with mod support. Basically getting the foundations for all the systems before they unleash the beast and it's untamable. That's kind of how I see Project Zomboid. There's just so much stuff coming out for that game. And the devs just take their sweet time these days. But yeah, the possibilities are endless. Alright, we lost something. Our barn. We're out of rye grain. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, you know, it does make sense. We turned it all into flour. All right, maybe that wasn't the greatest idea. Our apiary is missing a person. They must have had a baby. Well, if we do need to invite two villagers, this is fine. I'll leave that. We lost somebody in the tool stall. So I need somebody who's going to be a diplomat and a farmer. And the tavern, and let me guess, Rye Green, yep. Okay. We're gonna buy some Rye Green because I accidentally turned it all into flour. They should do a zombie survival in Medieval Dynasty. Actually, let me pull up Steam really quick. So there is a game coming out. Let me pause this so I don't let time go by. So on Steam, there's actually something like that coming out, I think. Let me check my wish list. I always wish list these interesting games. If 
if you ever get the time, check out Blight Survival. Blight Survival is like my most anticipated game like the last couple years. Like that game looks so cool. Um, Blight Survival's one, but there's I think there was another one. There are a couple medieval zombie games coming out though. Blight is the only one I can think of at the current moment. But I'm pretty sure there's another medieval zombie game coming out. I doubt we'll see them for some time though. All right, I need one farmer. And anybody who wants to sell. Oh, look at those skills. Three farming, diplomacy, three mining and production. That's hard. Um... I'm going to invite this guy, Zelavui, Zelavui, Zelavui will probably be the market stall holder. Which just leaves us with one farmer. I wonder if that's going to cut into our mead production since we lost our apiary. That's no good. Markuslav, I need rye grain. Before I do that, the donkey has a bunch of stuff I need to sell. All right, buy my arrows, take these feathers, take these seeds, and then I want I guess I'll take the animal feed. The rye and the rye grain. And the planks, because why not? Wait, 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 come back. Let's get the iron as well. I'm just out here hoarding these days. Scout key. I'm carrying too much. Okay. To beat that, we're just going to move stuff over to the donkey. All right, now will you take us? You just can't be fully encumbered. It probably would have been better if I did it without being on the mount. Might have saved some money. It's not really a big deal anymore. But yeah, I feel like a, a medieval zombie game is like exactly what I'm looking for right now. That would scratch the itch. I've just been playing medieval games and zombie games lately. I need a combination. A good combination. <laughs> Let's move this guy in before he runs away. Status. Where are you? Wait, 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 wait. 
I put this guy away. But I think I have some more people that can work. Ooh, a seven producer. Welcome home. Um, you're going. Where should I put her? A seven in production. I think you were the cook. And we need somebody in the cook. Who else we got? Is it just you? I think it was just her. Zelevu Zelevui. You're gonna work at the market stall. And that leaves us with one more person. Well, let's clear our inventory and throw all this stuff out. So, leather will keep. The rye and the rye grain will keep. Make sure I'm not turning any of this rye grain into flour. Wheat is okay. Why am I holding three crossbows? <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah, while the farms are going, we're going to do a little bit of management. Feed some of these animals, clear this... Mostly just like organizational stuff. We got any babies? No, no horse babies, any donkey babies, no donkey babies. Um, you definitely don't need all these on you. Keep the leather. Pull out the linen and the wool since we're going over. That's a lot of wool. Okay. Maybe not so much wool. It might be time to make some clothing. I'm getting full up on all these. Yeah, even the box is full. That's how you know it's getting bad. Yeah, I think next we're going to focus on getting all this metal smelted. Down with that vicious blow. 
<laughs> I haven't heard that one before. It's a tenacious D reference. That's the last thing I thought I'd hear in this game. This box is almost full, too. We're going to grab as much iron, maybe some sticks, make some knives. That'll be a bit light. That should be more than enough. Watch out, my guy. Wait, no. Let me smell it first. Then I'll move you out of the way. And then we're making the knives. Knives for days. Hey, Dreadnought, what's up? What's up, man? Things are going good. Things are going good. Mostly lots of, uh... I mean, we're definitely in that management part of the game where you're constantly managing things. So we've been doing a lot of management this season. We did get some buildings, though. We have the mill. We're the windmill. We got a couple extra farmers going because we decided to try out two day seasons this uh this stream. I changed a couple buildings to daub, mainly just the fold and the cow shed and the hen house. But aside from that, man, we're just we're just making progress. We did a little bit of hunting. I got the mine at the end of the last stream. So I've been trying to get all of my iron in order. I'm gonna leave that there for the smelter though. How you doing though, man? I do need to upgrade some buildings too. My food storage can upgrade to food storage three. I could upgrade one of my old resource storages. Wouldn't be a bad idea. What are you guys making in here? Linen thread and the joined hose. Four a day. You're making four a day and you still have... Let's go check the box. I'm kind of curious to see how much we got. There's no way we're selling all of those pants. 17? That's pretty good. Add another 41 bags to the pile. And 22 knives. That meat shouldn't be in here. 7,000 rye. Wait, so I still have rye. What are you doing? Hold on. Where's the barn? 
We're not we're not making a rye out here. Get to it. I need rye grain. Around 120, 170, something around there. Such a nice day out, IRL. Spent the entire day out working the yard. Time to relax. You'll watch uh, me work for a while. <laughs> Thanks, man. We're making progress. I do want to make... Because you know how we have all these houses right here? Like, in the middle of the village, basically. This is basically where everybody's living. Like, this is like the work area. We got one, two, three houses in town. But I mean, we have like a small neighborhood to the west, this neighborhood, and then this big neighborhood over here. So I kind of want to fill out either. I know this is mountainous, so I can't really build anything here. But like, I think it'd be cool to get some. Some sort of production buildings over here. Just for aesthetics, like. Maybe like a small field that's like winter carrots. That I basically don't rotate. Some market stalls, maybe some goats. I don't have any goats yet. That could be fun. I need to go buy some more wooden swords so I can train my my child soldiers. We ran out. Now I have to give them wooden figurines. All right, what's on the donkey? He still got some iron. I did not realize. It's a little too heavy. Dang it. Keep pulling off the saddle. I think a potion should do it. The reflection, like, looking into the fire. Like, it looks like he's getting, like, red eyes. Hold on. I want to see if I can see it. Does the reflection hit? Oh, it's just, like, at a, like a, a weird angle. That's kind of scary. What you do? Sir, get out of the way. I need to make knives. I don't have sticks, though. You got sticks? You got sticks in here? Never mind. I gotta grab more. And we'll do a quick hunt after that. Let's see how our hunting skills doing. Our hunting is currently at 689 out of 1250. I right, now I need you to move. Iron tools, knives, 22 knives. Before we hunt, we still have an entire season, but before we go out and do that... Drop this stuff. I wanted to get that last villager. I have a free spot open. Let's go get one. The traps will have to wait. The animals will have to wait. What did I say I needed? I need... 
I needed a farmer. I think one of my animals doesn't have somebody taking care of them. In fact, you know what? Let's... Actually, I don't want to mess with the... The field workers right now. Too much risk. I feel like I checked you guys, but... I'll check again. Nope. Nope. And... Nope. We haven't been to Astoya or Klonitsa, so let's go check out Astoya. Astoya villagers, you're all guys, so it doesn't even matter. But I still want to check your skills. Three threes. Chislav. Chislav. All right, I'm I'm gonna do something. Who's that new guy I hired? Zelavui. You're fired. Get out of my village. Where is he? There he is. Get out of my village. Hello there. Chislav. Yeah. He's got a bit more skill. He's no pseudo special, but three threes is still flexible. And I want more flexible villagers. Let's go. How can I help? And then Klonitsa. Watch out, watch out. All right, we got some ladies here. Lots of twos, one, three. Lots of twos. Lots of twos. Really? Bronislav is a good excavator. Maybe I have an excavator that's also a farmer. Bolislava, you have a nine in diplomacy and you're a lumberjack. What the hell are you doing? Okay, maybe... We're going to swap Bolislava to work at the tool stall. Seems like she'd be better there. And then Chislav, the new guy... Whoever he is. There's so many people. Chislav is going to go in the new house and he's going to go. He's a farmer. So he's going into. Not the donkey shelter, the apiary. And now that he's in the apiary, we need an excavator lady. Hello. And Bronislava is the one. So Bronislava. We'll live with Chislav and she'll work where he, I guess at the lumberjack. All right, I think we're good. We got our two villagers, all that is set up. When I was bossing, the hardest thing ever was firing someone, even if they deserve it. I just hated that. 
I mean, I could get that. Okay. I guess I can get that too. To be fair, I literally just invited him to the village this season, so, you know. It was still his probation period. How are you? Um, I guess... Have a nice day. Is there anything I need to take home? I could sell some things. Let's go to Piastovia. At least I gave him a chance. That is that. There is that. If I had more houses just open, I'd just leave him, but... Realistically, he's not the greatest. Like, he's not very flexible. And like I said, I want more flexible people. Bronislava is not flexible, but she's going to be a mom soon anyway, so there's really no need for her to be flexible. I guess I'll take the wool. I'll take the oats. I will take... I'm gonna leave the copper. Just holding me down these days. I'm gonna take the tin. So I can at least turn the copper into bronze. What do we got for notice board quests? Wool fabric? That's easy. Nine rabbits? Hell no. Limestone? I got you. We're done with Easter. We're not killing any more rabbits. How do you do? Scalky. How much weight does a horse hold? Let me look at this guy. Like, how much of a loss would I get for the speed? I didn't mean to punch you, I'm sorry. Go run. I didn't mean to do it. I guess we'll find out later. I think my mouse is dying. That's what's happening. Yeah, my mouse is dying. I was like, I know I got a plug right here somewhere. The tin and the... I guess I can't put that all away. Give me... The tin back, I guess. Here, hold on one second, guys. Sorry. This should solve the problem. Alright, we're good to go. I 
want to take all the tin out. Hand off the wool. Realistically, we could keep selling shearing scissors. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea. We won't go through as many knives. Forty six bronze bars, not bad. Good evening, how's it going, run? Got those demonic geese eyes every time I'm cooking. Okay, I can't. It's too far away. Can I throw something in the box? And then we'll just make bronze shearing scissors. All right, that should be good. Plenty of scissors to go around. I think we're gonna have to build. Or I'll just take out half the rye. We don't need all this rye. Taking up all this space. Donkey's fine with what he's got. Oh. We have another cursed person. I think this is cursed person number four of the stream. If she's living in a world without kings, I don't want to live in that kind of world, what she's doing, whatever they, whatever she's doing over there. Pretty good, still waiting for the console update. I get that, I get that. I said it before, I've said it a couple of times this stream, but if anybody is looking to get a free steam key for medieval dynasty keep an eye out in the community tab this week and definitely uh keep an eye out for next stream because i have a couple of keys that i want to give out that the developers gave me for free Got even more fertilizer. Drop all that right there. We'll go pick that up later. Let me see how they did on the fields. Not bad. They didn't get all the cabbage, so I might help them. I could use the far uh, the farming skill too, though. I'm like playing some weird cabbage version of snake out here. Just picking up all these cabbages. Oh, I'm full. Right, I was fun while it lasted. But I got a potion. We ain't done yet.
how many day seasons you're playing you forgot so we initially were doing three day seasons last stream for consistency's sake we had a long winter stream so i did a six day winter and this stream we're trying out two day seasons i'm trying to find the sweet spot for the streams But up until like year eight, I was doing all three day. All three day seasons. What's up, fam? What's up, Michael? How you doing, man? Hope you're having a good weekend, dude. Let's take all these empty buckets out. I don't have enough room for all this food. Why is there? Yeah, we got weight 8,000 rot. Well, that might be the problem. That might be the problem, guys. All right, let's leave that there. Build another food storage. I got one a little bit better than that. Since it's nighttime, nobody needs food right now. Let's upgrade the food storage. Because I think I have food storage three now. Stone logs and planks. We want to keep those. And grab some stone. Maybe we'll throw it on the donkey. Just woke up while well, I've been stressful at work. Most of our senior mechanics went today, so now I'm the most senior mechanic and got a lot riding on me now. Damn, bro. Sorry to hear that, man. Are they going to pay you more for being the most senior now? Because that would be cool, but... I mean, more stress at work's never good. I need to put some of this stuff away. I can't even carry half the things I want to. What's holding me back? The logs. Put half the logs away. Take a potion of night vision just to finish off this house or the storage. Nah, not an official title, but you'll get a raise, hopefully, in November. Let's get it, at least. Hopefully, they cut you some slack, though. I gotta grab more stone. I think the donkey's got the stone on him, wherever they're at. You said 50? Maybe I used a little bit. Alright, hold all that stuff for me. Are we missing anything? Did we get all the walls? It says we're missing something. 
Oh. A couple logs. Turned everything into stone now? Yep, we're... We're past, like, the wood days. Or the waddle. Just give me all the logs. Alright, food storage three. We have an extra 1,500 space, or 1,000 space, I think. Because it was 15, now it's 25. An extra 1,000 will go a long way. Alright, let's go to bed. Doing day two. Do you have anything to drink for me, Lubomira? Severely dehydrated. A whole bucket of water. Thank you. Actually, we don't want to throw that in here. This needs to go... We could put it in here. If there's room. All right, let's take care of these traps. And then we'll go hunting, like I said. Oh, Michael, I wanted to ask you. Uh, you do you like Fallout? Me and, uh, me and Brainy started watching the new Fallout show. It's kind of good. I don't remember if it was you who was really into Fallout. Give me like sticks. Where are all the rocks at? Probably on the donkey. <whistles> you played a lot of New Vegas and Four back in the day. Yeah, dude, I'd recommend checking out at least the first episode. It's on... What was it on? Amazon Video? Whenever you get the chance, man. I think you would really like it. Like, I like Fallout, but I don't know if I'd say I'm like a... A mega Fallout fan. Like, I've played Vegas in 3 and... Four. So I definitely have some experience, but I was more of an Elder Scrolls guy. As you may have guessed. Oh, that's not going to fit. All right, well, that'll go right there. I need a place to set my traps. Then I can like decorate my house and put like some flowers and stuff. All right, traps down. You started with Skyrim. What did I start with? I want to say I started with Oblivion. Actually, I remember what it was. I was at my friend's house. And his dad had Morrowind on his Xbox. And he's like, check out this game. And I was so confused. So when I heard they were making a new one, I was like, I gotta get it. So Oblivion was technically my my first game of Elder Scrolls that I owned. But technically, I guess I played Morrowind first. I know nothing about Morrowind, though. Alright, surveying the fields. 
they got a bit more cabbage to pick up. Maybe I should help them. I think that's all of the cabbage. You guys can figure out the rest. And if you can't, I guess I'll fix it later. I'm gonna even put half the tart away. Just to, it's gonna go bad if I keep it on. Going old, old school, Skyrim used to be a favorite. Damn, we calling Skyrim old school now? Shit. I mean, it did come out in like 2011. What's on you? Why do you, why are you slowing me down? Plakes, a hundred stone. That would that would answer it. Yeah. problems i don't want to deal with this right now what is the farm problem let's take care of it no resources what do you mean no resources give me the cabbage we're in fall so you should be planting rye Or wheat? We should have all the rye and the wheat. Oh, maybe we are out of wheat grain. No, we're, we got plenty of wheat grain. We got plenty of rye grain too. What do you, we got bags? We got bags. We got 11 hoes. We got... We got four scythes. Okay, disappeared. They're just playing around with me. Started with Pong, showing my age now. And you love the original Zelda. I never beat the original Zelda, but I did try at one point. I used to be a huge Zelda fan. This like windmill cuts into my frames. You're still floating. She's still floating. Now, OG Zelda was fun, but I'm kind of basic. Ocarina of Time is just my all-time favorite. That was the one I started on.
Why why is our field doing this? What is what's going on? I know you got everything you need. Is it cuz All right, field 4. Nobody's working on field 4. What is field 4? Field 4. Oh. All right, that should solve my issue. Why do I have wheat growing here? I think that was an accident. I think we'll still, we'll still work with it. We have so many grains right now. All right, what about the last guy? Because this should all be wheat. Field five. No, it's still rye. Sometimes farmers need some time to, like, set themselves. Oh, my God. Another one. And I definitely have rye grain. So that shouldn't be a problem. Am I missing something? Unimir, what do you need? Fertilizer? I didn't even think about checking fertilizer. I might need to go on like a selling spree of my own. Or maybe we need more mark maybe we need more market stalls. I'm thinking we need more market stalls. Let's put the fertilizer away. Drop half the logs. We're going to move them over here. Drop half the logs. Move them over here. Do the same thing. Now we got stacks of logs when we need them. The stone doesn't need to be here. We can move this. My mix... And then came Doom. We used to stay at the ISP I managed after work and we'd all play together on our network. Really? Those were the good old days. Dial-up modems. Oh, hell no, dude. I remember that. I still remember it. I was a kid, but I still remember that. Now you get 500 megabits. Man, things have changed. Yeah, things just keep getting bigger and bigger. And then, like, the AI boom in, like, the last two years. Technology just, like, Ever expanding right now. I think they're all set. Maybe we could upgrade because the resource storage is still struggling out here. Maybe we could build on that.
Man, I learned 99% of Medieval Dynasty from you. We are playing together with my girlfriend. Show this to your significant ones. Great to play together. I agree, man. And thank you so much, uh, Vol Vulture. I appreciate it. I appreciate the kind words. Right, this is what we're gonna do we're gonna walk all the way over to that resource storage i said i was gonna hunt but my management is getting out of hand and i keep running out of space as much as i'd love to keep pulling things out Let's building storage resource storage two. What did I pick up? Oh, did I get like half the resources back? I don't know what happened there. Offset all these planks. Did I pull all the logs out? I didn't, okay. And this should give us an extra thousand space. Yep. We got an extra 1,000 space in the resource storage. It's going to be helpful. All right, let's do a little bit of fall hunting. I'm sure I got a I have more than one crossbow before I go hunting let's maybe see if I can drop like 30 more pounds but I, I keep saying it, and I'll say it again if any of you guys are looking to get a free medieval dynasty steam key I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be gifting some steam keys probably around the end of next week, maybe like Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So keep an eye out around that time. If you want to get a medieval dynasty steam key for yourself or even a steam key for your friends, feel free to let anybody know. I'm just trying to give back to some of y'all since the, uh, since the devs were so nice enough to just hand me some keys. It'll be a lot easier to do it that way than do, like, say, a giveaway. There's a lot of rules and things you got to do with YouTube if I want to do, like, an official giveaway. Yeah, what's weighing me down? It has to be all those extra... I guess a skull would weigh me down. Two crossbows. I'll even put the cudgels away. All right, let's go kill some beasants, some bears. 
take the stone off of him as well. Alright, we want to go due north. There should be some V's and some bears around here. I think this is my favorite thing about like living in this area. Like my city is right there and there's literally like, oh snap. Okay. All right. Hold on. I wasn't ready. You want to do this melee? Don't do it. Why do you turn back? He doesn't want this smoke. I don't blame you. Hand off the meat and the leather to the donkey. And we'll keep looking for more. Why do I hear another one? snap okay okay two can play at this game that's too bad tried to avenge his family Yeah, they need bandits attacking towns after a certain year. I'm kind of curious how many people are into the idea of having, like, either bandit raids or, like, expanded b bandit mechanics in general. Because I definitely have had a lot of discussions in the Discord where I feel like a lot of people don't like the idea of expanding on combat in this game. And I'm kind of the opposite. I think the melee combat system is kind of... Kind of needs a little bit of work. So I feel like they should update it a bit. And then while updating that combat system, add a few like... Uh-oh, bear. Okay, I don't want this. I don't see the bear, but I know he's coming. Let's get the, let's get the hell out of here. I need to get the jump on the bears. The bears cannot get the jump on me. Else I'm going to have a bad time. Oh, he's right there. Okay. Not today, Bear. Not today. It does, but you like the fight. I do like the fight, too, which is why I want them to improve on it, right? But there are a certain... A small minority of people, I would say. Which is why I wanted to see if anybody else thought the same. Like, do you guys hate the idea of bandits? Like, in the game? Or, like... Bandits coming in randomly taking some resources, or... Wolves coming in and taking some food, or maybe they pick off an animal or two. I feel like you would add immersion to the game. Other people think it's going to turn into, like, this combat-centric game if they add those. And I really don't think you would make it combat-centric. Like, it doesn't need to be, like, oh, you're getting raided every day. Like, what if it's, like, once a year you have, like, a random raid you can prepare, prepare for? gives reasons to build walls and such that's what i think it gives like there's so many more opportunities to add things like systems that would make the game more immersive 
if they added it. But I think a lot of the original, like, players of Medieval Dynasty, like the early access guys, are used to the game being, like, more of a peaceful experience. And those people have kind of expressed that that's what they prefer in their game, which I think is fair. I just don't really agree with their sentiment. We need more enemies. See, that's what I'm saying. I feel like more enemies would be really cool. Or maybe not necessarily like new types of enemies, but more ways to implement the enemies. They can always turn them off. That is true. And that's been another argument of theirs. It's like, well, if we're just going to keep adding these things that we can turn on and off, why even do it? But my counter argument to that is. Check this out. I don't know if this is on purpose or not, but you can't turn bandits off on the oxbow. Like you can turn bandits off on the valley, but you can't turn bandits off on the oxbow right now. Like, there's no way to do it. Which makes me think they're going to kind of push towards that combat route, you know? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's just, I think it's only the Oxbow map. And I don't know why. I only found it out, like, last week. Quick check on the fields. Fields are going good. I might have to like pick up like the ends of the the uh, the fields, but they did most of the work, so I'm I'm cool with that. Let's grab this fertilizer and take it back. Let me take all the leather. We're just going to make bags. We're just going to do it. That money looked good in the fields. <laughs> Dude, we're rich. We got so much stuff. I'm trying to take care of this overflow. That's kind of the hard part right now. I'm expanding all of my storage facilities and stuff like that. I need to make a bigger marketplace. Maybe that's what we'll do. I just need to find places to place houses. I'm struggling for locations. Unless I want to expand over here or over here. I feel like I could expand over here, make like a little, a little something. Let's check out the, the market really quick. Hey, Cadis, how's it going? Can I borrow five carrots? Do I even have five carrots? Nope. I have no carrots for you. I am sorry. All right, farm shed. What are you missing? Rye grain. 
I ran out of rye grain. Yeah, so I think I've determined if I'm going to want to do like two seasons with the farm, I'm going to need like 12 farmers. Or I need to cut my fields down even smaller. Hello. How is life treating you? Won't be so bad for the winter at least, but... Honestly though, that might not be the worst case. I can give half of these to the donkey. Well, let's just give him the rye. It wouldn't be the worst case to get another farm shed. Because I do want to expand, like you're saying, Destiny. I think it would be cool to have, like, some farms that are, like, next to some houses. Where it's like, oh, this is, like, the villager's personal carrot field. Or a person's personal poppy field. There are some plants that I don't really want to add to the rotation, but I still want to gather. I think that's the only way. Or that'll be the best way to do it. Yeah, it looks like they literally just stopped working. Well, I gotta do it myself again. That's okay. What's my farming at? 2,500? It's not so bad because I still need to level up my farming. I am sorry. Did not mean to bump into you. I mean, you didn't miss that much. Actually, you missed an entire field. What's your best weapon for bandits? Crossbow one-shots everyone with a headshot, but bows seem to be more forgiving. So crossbows will do more damage, but you have to be more accurate with them. Because it takes up a lot more stamina to, like, prepare a crossbow bolt. But if you'd rather go for, like, you know, multiple, like, shots, I think your bow is your best bet. You can get a lot more shots, like, per second with a bow than a crossbow. And it doesn't take as much stamina. Yeah, bow is much faster, but I prefer a crossbow. I'm a crossbow guy myself. I might do a a bow gameplay one time. Yay, I was sure I missed the whole thing. Nope, you just got in. How's it going, Ellie? We've been we're doing a bit shorter seasons this stream though. Um Let me make sure I got my hoe and I got I might need to get some fertilizer. I think the donkey has the fertilizer, though. Oh, never mind. They... They fertilized. They just didn't plow it. That works.
Yeah, we're going to get this done, like, just in time for the end of the season. Thankfully for the winter, we can ignore the fields for a little bit. Maybe get some other stuff done. I want to build a couple houses. Get a couple villagers in here. And I think expanding our market stalls will solve the, I think, the weight problem we're having inside of resource storage. We have too many resources, and we're not selling them off fast enough. I should start my own farm in real life now. I mean, I used to live on an almond orchard. I lived on an almond orchard for like... Almost 15 years. Most of my, my childhood... Adolescence. I have tried to grow in potatoes. Like... In our own yard here. And I failed miserably. They were the smallest potatoes. I've ever seen. We'll sleep the thirst off. Disarm. We want to arm that one. Let's grab some more stones and some sticks really quick. Maybe like 20 and 20 of each should be more than enough. You really needed to rebuild two anyway. There we go. Off to bed. Question for you, is it possible to do crop rotation in the management tab so the farmers will alternate crops every season, if that makes sense? Uh-oh. I failed. I forgot to do two quests. That's why I don't do these dynasty quests anymore. I just forget. What is a negative 100 to my 25,000 dynasty rep, though? To answer your question, though, Ellie, you can't, unfortunately. I was literally complaining about that same exact thing this stream, like... I wish you could make it so you can rotate, like, let's say there's a tab right here that was like spring, summer, fall, winter, and then you can just set each one. I really wish you could, but unfortunately you have to do it manually each field. Yeah, we were just talking about that. It's a, especially when you farm as much as I do, it's a big pet peeve of mine. It would be nice if they could just take care of it themselves. But it is what it is. I think it's one of the most upvoted, like, suggestions in the Discord, though. So I feel like we will get it eventually. Throw the rye grain back in here. So screw the notice board. Did I do the quest that I grabbed? Hell no, I didn't. I forgot. And that's why I don't do quests anymore. Whenever I get to the point where I'm like, if I'm ever going to be in need for Dynasty Rip again, I'll go get it. Give me all that rye grain. But until then, I'm just going to keep forgetting because of all the stuff that I'm doing. All right, here, let's just put this back on the donkey and I can pull it from him.
if I do like need to do the notice board quest, I need to like hard focus on it. And be like, okay, pick them up, do them, turn them in, move on. Because I get so distracted with all the, the management changes and stuff that I, I'm always bound to forget something. Like, I'm supposed to upgrade these rooftops to planks. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I said I was going to do that last stream. So I was going to do it this stream last stream, but clearly we did not get to that. But I do want two more houses, so I think we're going to expand. I think over here. These houses could use a, a bit of a fixing up, though. Yeah, I think right here we're going to go deeper into the forest. Let's just like take this road. Watch out, kid. I'm kind of worried, actually. Yeah, this is all going to be on stilts, huh? There's probably a reason I haven't built over here. Unless I want some ugly stilt houses. Oh, wait. We might be able to build one here. I just got to take out a tree. Yeah, little repairs are needed. I really need a building hut. If I had a building hut, it'd be a lot easier to take care of this. Though, to be fair, I'm pretty sure that repairing all this stuff is leveling my building, so we'll get there eventually. All right. Yes. Oh, wait. We lost it. It was there. There we go. I could probably, yeah, I could fit one right here too. I gotta do some deforestation. And not kill myself in the process. Question, what unlocks Herald Visit? I think we are short with building skills. Builders Guild, the last upgrade of the Warehouse Level 3. Um, so, as far as I know, the Herald hasn't been added to the Oxbow yet. I don't think there should be a thing that allows you to unlock them. <clears throat> it should just, like, show up every couple years. But even I haven't seen... Sorry. Even I haven't seen, like, the Herald around... I don't know why they haven't put it in yet. There must be some sort of bug. I guess it has to do with the notice board. But yeah, as far as I know, you can't get the Herald in the Oxbow yet.
All right, so we're moving all this stone. You know, all of it. Most of it to the donkey. There's a chance I might run out of firewood, too, because I took half of it out because it was weighing me down. to hear we're ready for all the foods ironworks clothes etc yeah so like um the all the herald really does i mean it's it's still a system right but the main thing the herald does is affect your villager mood and like your taxes it would be nice to be able to do them but in the grand scheme of things i mean if you want to like min max especially at the end game yeah you are kind you're kind of limited The one nice thing about the valley. I'd probably try focusing on like market gain and stuff like that. Get as many market stalls as you can. See if you can build your efficiency. So that like everything's like as automated as possible. I know it's kind of hard. It takes a bit of time. Because your numbers are always going to be changing until like. Your villagers hit like the max skill. <whistles> Where'd the donkey go? Oh, you're right there. Hold these stones. I gotta go get planks and wood. Calling HOA on me for not fixing those houses. They'll be fine. See, that's why they like to live in this village. We're HOA free. I have any planks in here? I only need 48. And I'll fill out the rest on logs. You have a nice king, so it'd be great to fulfill his wishes. Yeah, that's the one nice thing once you have a good king. Like, it's just a win-win if you do his quest. You're already earning a lot of money off of the, the gold already. That's fair. Another question, do you prefer donkeys over a horse? I think it kind of depends. When I'm playing with um, limited carry weight, I prefer the donkey because the donkey is going to carry a bit more for me. Or if I'm just trying to like travel places without carrying anything, then I like the horse. But I'd say overall, I prefer a donkey. It's not like infinitely better than a horse or anything, but when it comes to carry weight, it is better. All right, we got another house. And 
And then I wanted to build a house maybe over here. I think right here is a good spot. Hand over the logs, take some stones. All right, maybe I should have held on to a couple logs. Another thing that I talk about that would always be nice is if you didn't have to like manually change every wall. If you have a button that changes everything to stone or everything to wood. The little things, you know. Let me hand off all of this. Take all the logs back. It's not going to be much. I think what would be really cool all right here's another thing it'd be cool if you had a different button for both your mounts because i think there's a point in time where i'd like to just leave my donkey like in a corner because he has all this stuff on him and then i'd be like okay now i want to go grab my uh my horse and i could go ride back and forth pick stuff up we can only call one at a time so often what i find is my donkey gets heavy and then i just run around and do things and call him He's basically just like my walking treasure chest. Maybe we can fix some some things on the way up there too. I mean, realistically, maybe I could change all these rooftops to planks. I might have the resources for it right now. Where's that house? Let's fix these first. Makes people happier? Yeah. And then I don't have to fix things as much. I'm getting free building points for fixing things at least, but... Like, let's, let's look at our building really quick. Where's our building at? 6,100 out of 75. We did gain a thousand building this stream. So you know what, maybe the building hut isn't as far off as I thought it was.
You can carry more than my horse. Are you on a potion of some kind of food that gives you extra carry weight? My donkey has a couple things. So where are you at? So the things to like maximize your donkey space is first have a donkey over a horse because a horse doesn't hold as much as a donkey. Get the large saddle bags. So you get the 45 extra weight limit. And then on top of that, there is a skill in farming called carry and stick that increases your carry weight by an additional 30 kilograms. So you're getting like an extra 75 weight on top of whatever your mount carry weight already is. Alright, that's another house. Let's get some people moved in. And then maybe I'll worry about fixing rooftops. Was my village center near Skaki a considerate choice or a what the heck? Um, it was definitely planned. So this is one of the locations I put in my best locations to build on my, uh, like one of the videos I made. And I felt like this was the one that I was kind of like not so sure about because I was like, okay, in theory, you're next to Skaki, so you get early iron. You're next to water. You're next to... What the Vizents and the Bears? Like I was like, in theory, this spot should be a good spot to build. The problem is the land is just so unlike. There's so much elevation that it messes with like how the houses look. And I'm not really the biggest fan on building houses on like wooden foundations. So I don't like how they like all of a sudden just like get really high up in the air. Yeah, this was the first, like, this was my first house. I, I started right here and then just kind of expanded from here on out. In the long run, though, I do think this location is pretty goaded. Because if you think about it, I mean, hold up. You got your cave. You got a... Wagner basically right next to town so you can get to Piestovia easily if I need to get to my resource storage into Piestovia I got a resource storage and a food storage right here so I don't have to spend the money to go back and forth I got my mine right here and then obviously I got water when I needed it at the time there's lots of like straw like on this lake so I needed straw straw wasn't hard to get you really have everything you need here. So making my settlement here was kind of testing the theory as to is this place actually a good place to build? And in my opinion, I think it's a pretty good place. All right, let's move this stuff from the donkey. Oh, but your char character can carry 100 kilos before going overweight. Yours upgraded to 85. Yeah, so for me, I am drinking a potion. I'm drinking potions of weight. So you pop that, you go from 80 to 100. Yeah, I might be missing five pounds somewhere. Or they may have nerfed the bags in the new update. So I know I got the best bags. Large pouch, simple large backpack. I feel like the large pouch used to be 15 or the backpack used to be 25. What else am I missing? Oh, you know what? It's mule. Mule's giving me that extra five. So you get the three points in mule, the two bags and the potion, and then you get a total of 100.
those poor rabbits been trapped there in traps forever. They're not going anywhere. I can promise you that. Uh oh. Oh my god. Okay, he's alive. I thought he just like, what happened to his jaw? I knew that as soon as I made that jump, I was like, this was a mistake. How's your HP, donkey? Oh, you're, you're fine. You're fine. Nothing even happened. All right, we want two market stall people. I need a three. All right, you got a three. You got a two. You got a three. Four threes? Gromislav, welcome aboard. Get in my village. And then I guess Hermena Gilda. I mean, she only has one three. I'm gonna look around. This guy is the most flexible of flexible. Where is he? Gromislav. Into the new house. And... I don't know, should I put him somewhere while I figure out where he needs to go? I'm going to sit him in the, the smithy for now. Dobroslava. She can work again. I'm out of pickaxes. I should go get those. Or shovels. That might be shovels. I think she should go into... The barn. In fact, I think this is where she originally was. Would have been funny if you broke an antler on your hat. <laughs> if they actually, like, put that in. Cursed person number five of the stream. Oh, he fixed himself. Take me to Piastovia. We're checking for villagers, making sure we get the best ones. At the end of the day, I'm looking for people with the most threes. But I mean, at the least, they need to have the three in what I want them to have. Erica, zero threes. Samboya. Oh, look at that. Four threes. Okay. Buds of Slava. All right. Oh, Samboya. Samboya. You're going into a house. You have a three in diplomacy. Perfect. And you guys were okay. Two villagers a good start. But I'm still going to go check Ostoya and Klonita. Anybody with like four or more threes is basically a guaranteed hire for me. I don't really care what they have fours in. Or threes in. I wish they could have fours. Uh, clone it to you would think that over time maybe like the villagers you could recruit would have better skills it should still be really rare but I think that'd be cool you go to a fire and you find somebody with like a five in production that's a lot of twos one three Lorelei, you got two threes. Sometimes I get a feeling that the locals found on us. 
Laura Lay, I'll think about it. I feel like hunting is my least needed three, though. Unless I want to get, like, another hunting lodge. But I'm not at the point yet. Alright, Astoya. Are fish huts profitable? If you're willing to put in the work of getting them the, uh... The fishing spears. You can make a good amount of food. And then, like... I guess money in general off of... Fish. Because fish meat sells for a lot of money. Three in diplomacy, three in production. I kind of like that. Steds of Slava, I think I'm going to pick you. Oh, it's you again. Not a really big fan of these dudes, though. Let's go. Yeah, I have a fishing hut going. I had it shut down for a bit because Onward. my survival lady was pregnant. But she had her baby, so she's back in it. I guess we're going back to Skowki. If you're talking about like leveling your survival faster though, your survivalist will level faster in the herbalist hut. Milibad, Radost, Drogorods. I don't really like Y'all kind of suck. Millibad. I'll take you. You're going to be like a guaranteed market stall holder. Most of my market stall people are pretty flexible, so I'm not really worried that he won't be very flexible. We can have one that's never going to be flexible. All right, Sedzislava. And Milibad live together. Sedzi is a diplomat, producer, Milibad's producer. I think Sedzi will probably be in the sewing hut. Because if we do that, we can leave. Who do we have here? Samboya and Milibad. Samboya's got fours and everything. So it would be a shame if I put her as a diplo uh into diplomacy. Milibad has to be. So maybe I need to take one of those guys out. Or I could have three. Or I could have three markets. I like the sound of that. Three markets. Let's just do that. A uh, Samboya, though, you're going... Wherever I got room for you. Not the barn. Excavation shed, maybe. The mine. You're going to the mine. Have fun. Anyone know when Oxbow comes out for console? They have not announced a release date yet for Oxbow on console or Epic Games or the, Epi or the what is it, the Xbox Game Pass. We do know that the game was, or that the co-op update's coming out in either quarter one or quarter two of this year, considering quarter one's already gone. At the latest, we know... Was it? I'm bad at math. In the next month or so?
I doubt it's going to come out this month. It'll probably come out at the end of May or beginning of June. But I'm just guessing. So. I did guess correctly when the Oxbow update came out for console, though, or for PC. I was like, probably beginning of December. And it came out December 9th. This is just speculation, though. Oxbow was supposed to be out by now. They said first quarter. No, they said first quarter or second quarter. And considering first quarter's past, it's got to be second quarter. Unless they say something and it gets pushed back, which I highly doubt. I think that would be kind of disappointing if they did that. It's already been too long, in my opinion. Part of me kind of thinks that they used, like, the Steam players as, like, a form of beta testing and hotfixing before they pushed the game out to everybody else. But once again, that's just a theory. There's our traps. Go to bed. Get this last day done. Let's see. We want... Oh, I'm out of potions. It's not good. I might need to go buy more. Stone sticks. Yeah, I definitely need a new place for these traps. Looks a little tacky. Maybe if I brought like the hunting lodge down here and made like a little cool looking area, I don't know. We'll see. I want to get these market stalls though. I got four right now. I could fit one more on the side of the road over here. I'm thirsty. Maybe I could fit two. No, I'm not going to build it there. Would be cool if you could have the hunters manage the traps. I agree. I'm going to go check the Discord and see if that's been suggested yet. After the stream. So I don't know if I've seen... Seen that suggestion. I feel like it's got to be there, though. Thirst. 
Okay, I'll go get a drink. I wonder how this would look, actually. These can always be changed. I wish the roads blended together a bit better. Yeah, I'm not really a fan of that. Get that out of here. I'll do this. Probably going to change that later. We'll see. Jay, what's your honest opinion right off the cuff? Bellwright versus Medieval Dynasty. Bellwright needs a lot of optimization and polishing before it's at the level of Medieval Dynasty, in my opinion. However, if you're talking about combat, I mean, the combat is a lot more dynamic in Bellwright. So it depends what you're going for. This game really has like the management side of like a village thing on lock. Content wise, I think this game has more. But I definitely like Bell Wright. I'm gonna play it more. Same with Manor Lords. I got Manor Lords a couple days ago. So I've been trying to play that game a little bit, see how it is. All right, we need logs, planks. Take my 7,000 coins. Take the planks. I feel like I need some logs. Don't remember how many. And then linen fabric, I definitely need. And we'll start with that. Definitely going to need a lot of logs. Thought you was going to get goats. Yeah, I'll get goats eventually. The reason I haven't really, like, put goats on, like, priority is because I got the cows. The only reason I would get goats is, like, purely for aesthetic. How to get markets already? I sold a lot of stuff. I had a flatbread montage. Hold on one second. I need to check.
Mark Saul's 2500 production. Yeah. So the way I leveled my production really fast was making lots and lots of flatbread. Only today, one for the price of two. See, I even got a tavern right here. My production is maxed out. I got sheep. Yep, I got sheep. Right there. That building right there. It's got sheep in it. Grab the rest of the planks. Now I'm hoping these market stalls offset all of my... My surplus. That's my problem right now. I got too much. Trying to spread the wealth. Mini Walmart. <laughs> Might as well name my village that at this point. I go a little too crazy with the market stalls eventually, but I feel like it's kind of necessary. I think in my longest playthrough game, I have almost two dozen market stalls. I made like two separate locations that just host all of my market stalls. And they look pretty cool, but it got to a point where I just made so many that eventually I was like, right, I need to cut back. At the rate this village is going, though, I might need at least a dozen. Alright, so Milibad, you are going to sell... You're going to sell pants. I take that back. You're not going to sell pants. That'll take too long. You're going to sell tools. I have some shearing scissors you can sell. The mask fits right in. Yeah, maybe if I could sell some masks. That'd be cool if you can make like custom masks. What if I want to wear a bear mask? Where are my other, where are those other two people? I threw him in a job, didn't I? All right, Milibad is it with Sedzislava? All right, who was with Gromi? Oh, she's a mine. She's mining. I don't know. Maybe I got to get two more villagers again. I prefer the person mining. I prefer you black. Actually. What are your skills? You got three in diplomacy. Nah, get out of the blacksmith. I'm going to put him in this market stall and you're going to get me. Probably tools. Bags. I got a lot of bags. Only three bags a day. 
We're going to be here for ages. Kitchen, what are you missing? Eggs. Can you make flatbread? Yeah, just make flatbread. 29 flatbread? We could do better than that. One hundred and twenty flatbread a day. That's more like it. We're gonna make a little bit of cheese. How do you do? Uh, could you move a little, please? I'm trying to make pork. And then we'll just like leave that right here. Take all the milk. We didn't have a lot of milk actually. I let it all spoil and I think my buckets were full. So I don't have a lot of regular milk. I mean, 13 cheese is okay, I guess. But I can't let my cork go bad. How much money do you have now? Keep missing it. I am at 80,000 coins. I started at 55, 56 this stream. And even with paying my taxes, I'm up. Wow, look at all this meat. I need to start making the pottage myself. Still here, fam, enjoying the stream. Multi-boxing and Eve. Oh, man. More power to you, bro. Is that hard? Let's grab some bowls. Eight hundred bowls. All right. Too much production, guys. We are producing way too much. Got three monitors going. Nice. All right, something's holding me down. Probably the cork. <laughs> the donkey could help me with this. I right, just leave those bowls in the soup. I'll get to them. And then I want the worst meat. Another hundred cabbage. All right, Pottage, where are you at? 72. It's a good start. The donkey can hold the Pottage.
Hello. We'll move this over. There's got to be a better way. Let's see if we can just grab all the pottage. There we go. Now we can move things over. Look at all this pottage. Look at all these fish. You know what? This guy, we need to be putting more work in. Six cheese? How about ten cheese? Um... We're going to be making more than 60 or 100 flatbreads. So we can sell 60. Oh, we could sell 100. And I think we'll be fine. It might need some time to catch up. But it should be fine. Um, yeah, let's start with that. And then five pottage. Can we do more than five pods? Can we do like 10? What should I cut back on? One of these I should go out of, way, out of my way and sell myself. And I'm thinking it's going to be the roasted fish meat. Yes, I need all these stones on me. Leave me alone. All right, food. Two hundred cabbage. Two hundred meat. Move it to the docky. Drop. Oh. Pull everything off the donkey. Drop everything off the donkey. Grab some more bowls. Don't know how many I'll need. Nothing against phones, but you like your 52 inch monitor just saying, can you hook up a phone to a monitor? Never tried it. You should be able to. You should be able to cast from your phone to your monitor and then you can use your phone as like a remote. All right, 66 more pottage. Honestly, pottage might be the thing that I need to go sell on my own. Or we could make a second kitchen stall. Maybe we'll make a second food stall. Nobody got time for that. We'll just have somebody else do it. Thankfully, our 
uh, storage isn't full, at least. All right, what's on me? All the bowls. Let's place the bowls in this box. Oh, we got food in here already. I'll take it. And you can take the bowls. Put all that stuff in there. You know, there's one thing we will do. Since I got my donkey here. And we're by the food. There's one thing. All the roach. Maybe I don't need the donkey for this. How can I help you? I have an idea. Roasted meat, go away. I know I have somebody who's a tenon diplomacy that's not in the market stall. Like, I have to. No? I swore I had somebody. Oh, I guess I'm not. I guess not. Well, I guess I'm going to take Samboya. No, she's in a market stall. Who lives with Milibad? Sedzi Slava, yeah. Sedzi Slava, what is your skills? It's so hard trying to find people. There needs to be a search bar you could type in here. Sedzi is a three in diplomacy. So Sedzi's... Wait. I didn't mean to put Samboya here. Sedzi needs to go here. Samboya, I'd rather you be the mine. The miner, where's the mine? Excavation, extraction. There you go. Saboya in the mine. We got Sedzi in the stall, and we're gonna change this to food. And then you're selling. What's something I need to get rid of? Pottage and dry, no, roasted fish meat. Where is roasted? So 50 and 50, that should be good. Hey, what's up, Jared? How's it going? I wish they'd allow some mods on this. Yeah. I don't think that's happening anytime soon, though. So if it did, I'd be hyped. I think if we get mod support, we'll probably get mod support next year. Because the next update after them getting Oxbow for the co-op or the the console and the Epic Games and Game Pass is going to be the Armors, Crests, and Shields update. I feel like they'll do it eventually. I think it's just like not at this time. And I'm doing pretty good, Jared. I'm doing pretty good. Just been chilling, playing some Medieval Dynasty today. The more you want, the hungrier you get. Let's go take that. 
I think I have some fish tart. This will hold me over for the rest of the season. Hand off the meat. I better see a plague mod. A plague mod would be cool. I think like a zombie infection mod would be funny. After Destiny men men mentioned that, it kind of made me think of like the undead nightmare thing that Red Dead had. What if there were like nights where zombies would just randomly show up? Or you just people... Another way for people to like get sick or lose their their skills or I don't know. Things that would add immersion. Zombie bandits. That would be funny if they did like for like a a Halloween event, like the bandits became skeletons. I think that would be funny. Grab the sticks and stones. We're going to put these traps down and be done with it. I might give up on traps soon. It's, I feel like it takes up too much time compared to like how much I get out of it. Though I do get a lot of meat because of these things. No, I think a really cool mod would be like if there was a way to like break the multiplayer so you could have like more than four people in a server like 10, 12, 16 however many, you know I think that would be really cool Don't forget to pay the king's tax Destiny out here being my tax collector He's trying to save my skin. Yeah, zombies does sound fun. But at the same time, I'm kind of more hyped to see what Blight Survival does because the game is focused on like a medieval zombie survival game. I think that's going to be... Really cool. Let's go. Tax day is today, isn't it? In the US, is today the day? It might be. I did mine early. Already got my tax money. Give me those buckets. You never know. And the toy swords. I need more weapons for the child soldiers. Let's go find Henrik. He's probably somewhere around here in desperate need of a sword. I see him. Henrik, what are you doing so far away from home? Where the hell is he? Hey. Hello, my boy. Slay your enemies. There he goes. Off to go defeat some other children. So proud of him. Oh, 
Oh, tomorrow's tax day, Michael. You seem to be the sort of gentleman that gets his taxes done early. No message. Uh, sometimes. <laughs> I don't, I don't usually wait till the last minute, but I definitely will. I won't be like the first person to do my taxes. You have to wait till the first day of July in Australia to do tax. That's interesting. I wonder what makes the governments decide what times they want their tax money. Right, the donkey's got nothing on him. Let's find out what this management thing is all about. Oh, excavation shed. What are you out of? Pickaxes. How's the mine working? How you got no pickaxes if the mine's working? It's kind of weird. Maybe they're on the last one. Grab another 4k coins. Pull the iron out. And grab some logs. Yeah, I have a few things to say about taxes, but that's for another channel. <laughs> Fair, fair. Had some hiccups with mine and the ex-wife's claiming issues. Hopefully that got settled out, man. It's gotta be annoying. Yes, be sure to pay your king's tax, guys, or else the honker will come for you in, in your sleep. Is this what you want? Imagine you wake up and this guy comes barging in your door. I don't think you want that. How have I survived this entire winter? With a short sleeve shirt on, I just realized this. I've not been freezing like whatsoever. Oh, I forgot to buy potions. All right, donkey. One last shirt to Piastovia before the winter ends. Hopefully we get them just in time. Let's go. Hell, you know what? This is a good time to use the horse. We're taking the horse. Move on. Didn't I tell you about the IRL? Oh, I thought you were talking about... I didn't realize that had to do with taxes. But I know you're talking about, man. Uh, Piastovia. Oh, they're all leaving. Please. Who do I need? I forgot. It's the, the, the herbalist lady. Ludomila. Give me potions of camouflage. I kind of want those. But I want the potions of weight. That's what I came here for. Uh, Marcus Lov. Is there anything I want to buy from you? Maybe the animal feed. We're at 82k, by the way. The money just keeps stacking.
take the oat grain, take the... We're not taking the rye grain. I think that'll have to be enough for now. Let's take this back to Skocky. New Skocky. Love your vids. Gives you insp inspiration for your little town. That's good to hear, Trevor. I'm glad my videos have been an inspiration. Have I seen Jurassic World Dominion? Um, I've seen a Jurassic World. Is that like the second one? I saw the first one. I haven't seen any after that. Alright, we got our stuff. It's the last one in the line. Oh yeah, then I didn't. Wait, what's the second one then? They just call it Jurassic World 2. Dinosaur 2. Oh, is it? Yeah, I have no idea. There, it seems like the naming conventions for those those movies are are kind of crazy. Dinosaur, oh, like like the Disney dinosaur too. That would be a crazy sequel. They haven't. That's like twenty three years old. That's like that's like old as hell. Fallen Kingdom. I don't know if I saw that one. I really don't remember the names of them. I just remember the one with the big ol' like Mosasaur or the genetically engineered T-Rex. Chris Pratt with his pet raptor. I thought that one was fine. I think I saw that one in the theater. Nah, no, just Jurassic Park 2. I've seen all the originals. It's been a, such a long time though. I feel like I need to rewatch them. You cried for a pixel dino, bro. It is what it is. Right, let's drop some of this stuff off. I'm a bit encumbered. Look at all these buckets, bags, skulls. I'll give them the scythe, the fur. I'm keeping the potions. Your daughter loves the dinosaur movie? That's awesome, man. I used to watch that movie all the time. All right, we're throwing the meat in the box. I think that's about that, guys. The spring, or I guess it's the winter, not even spring. What? The winter is coming to a close. And we made it. Hey. Luda Mila, I'm sorry. Hi. Finally, the flowers are waking up. You're right, Henrik. You are right. All right, guys, we made it. I think we made it. Let's double check. Year 10. There it is. We've made it to year 10. And we survived another winter, but 
We made it to year 10, guys. The village has definitely come a long way in 10 years. This field is gigantic. It looks like all the, uh, the trees are growing, too. Oh, I like this. Our trees are grown. Maybe not full grown, but they're getting there. We got some around here. We might expand some of these orchards like in these like these holes and fill up some space. Another year, another dollar. <laughs> you like the fields? Thanks, man. I think the fields looks pretty good. I do want to do a lot more decoration to make this place a bit more cleaned up. But I mean, for the first year or the first 10 years. I like this. You want to live here. <laughs> Father Stalin would be proud of the massive fields. Nope, we did it, guys. Year 10. It took a couple months, but we made it. Living here would be awesome. You know, I think it'd be pretty cool living out here. But yeah, guys, uh, this is where I'm going to end this stream today. I appreciate y'all for hanging out today. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'm definitely going to keep going with this next week. I'm probably going to do the year 10 stream, but I'm also going to give out a couple Medieval Dynasty Steam keys. I keep mentioning it, but I want to keep mentioning it. So if you're interested in getting a Medieval Dynasty key on Steam, keep an eye out for a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm going to make a community post. I'm going to be handing out some free keys. Um, either if you want to get one for yourself, maybe someone, maybe a family member or a friend that you want to play with. So keep an eye out for next week. And then the week after that, we're probably going to do a Manor Lord stream. Manor Lords, maybe Bellright, maybe both. I don't know yet. But both those games come out in two weeks, so maybe I'll do a poll and see what people think. But yep, you guys have a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, guys. How much do you like Medieval Dynasty? You'd love to see play other games. Oh, yeah, for sure. Was fun. Enjoy talking to you all. Good talking to you too as well, Dreadnought. See you later, brother Russia, Henrik, Destiny, Jared. Make sure I get everybody. Trevor. Honor our heritage, Kenneth. Mad3, Flip, Amoka, Vulture. LEG. Cadis. Run Sensational Viet Dao. Howard. Man, we had a lot of people come in today. Sandra. Sorry if I missed anybody. I I tried to get everybody. But everybody, thanks for chatting and hanging out. If you if you don't mind, consider uh dropping a like a sub, paying that king's tax so I don't lose my head. And until next time, guys. Take care. <laughs>